Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of the Pro Wrestling Podcast. I am the best guy ever, and today we're joined by Gigolomatic Ben Saints. There, there he is. Oh, no. The, the slime I can hear bubbling up <laughs> deep within, within my yeah. veins. Uh, M- Munchie. Oh, Hello? wow. What's now? Uh, you know, the uh, stuff. Oh, wow. Time. Oh, wow. <laughs> uh, we've got Tom. Tom Oliver. I, 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 I'm here. Good. We've that, got... That's it. Oh. Oh, okay. <laughs> We've got Lethorora Mage. <laughs> There's a cat on my table, so excuse any cat noise. No furry. The pussy is, loud. is present. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And <laughs> begin the pussy jokes. Uh, and the digital bro- bro- boy. There he is. Hey, I'm here. I'm trying to recover my mind after a really intense 420 celebration slash yeah. Evangelion viewing party. Oh God! It was 4 tw- <laughs> it was 420 yesterday. Yeah, indeed oh, it was. That's, um, indeed it was. Body. That's. <laughs> hey, that's hey, did, the... you see, did you see that thing that I tweeted you? Uh, a, a, a clip from Armor Shield Con three with a filter over it. Did you? Yes, I saw. I that. saw that. I saw yeah. that. Very nice. <laughs> it was looking good. Uh, but enough Wait, about that. What are animals? Shit. Where are they? Where can we find animals? What, what are uh, their culture? What can we you learn can find, from them? You can find what can a typical they learn from animal. Us? Over on dictionary <laughs> urban dictionary dot com. You know, dictionary dictionary urban was uh, my favorite uh, <laughs> de- like child detective novel. As it's set on the mean streets of New York, where dictionary yeah. urban. You guys, you guys know what I'm fucking talking about. That, you know. There was there was a cryptic. I remember that. Yeah, from that ancient children's book story. There was a, lots of st- uh, mysterious clues left about dipping to the whip. And I had to open up my <laughs> Ur- dictionary, Urban, and find out what the fuck was going on in there. Uh, listen, this is terrible. Let's let's get down to our hey, real shit here. Is Nate is Nate breaking up, or do my headphones just suck dick? Someone your fe- your headphones fun. suck dick. I bet okay. you got like a five dollar ones, and you'd be like, "Oh, this will work." No, they were like thirty bucks, and they're garbage. Anyway, let's just, I'm you know, derailing. Just the, let's fucking for, get in that the, Urban Dictionary. The the interest for the audience is Ben has been doing the PCP just by turning his speakers real low this yeah. entire time. I've just been turning my speakers headphones. really low so that there's, my mic doesn't Incredible. pick us up as an echo, and it's worked. And it's yeah. worked brilliantly. You, yeah, I mean, you, none of you knew. Challenging. None of you knew. I fooled <laughs> you all. You're not wrong. All right. Uh, here we go. UrbanDictionary.com. It's furries, guys. Furries. So here is the top definition hmm. of furry. Hmm. All right, here we go. This, this is a, this is a, this is a fucking literary piece on this furry. I got a there literary is no, piece for you. There is no yeah. one single definition of what a furry is. Even within That's the furry definition. fandom, people cannot always agree on just what makes a person a furry or not. Okay, so this guy's breaking it down. Ooh. Some would argue that to be a furry, you must think and talk like one, i.e. use furry specific words and phrases. Even if you go to conventions, wear a fu- fursuit, draw the art, write the stories, etc., but don't talk okay. using furry lingo, you're not a furry. This is, this is one of those furry. things where only within that community would they even... Cr- would there would even be a question? Any, yeah, like, for, for any outsider, it's just like, do you have any interest whatsoever in watching, <laughs> like, yeah. like, like, animalized right, You know, it's, it's, like, my, it's yes, like my old standby. You are a furry. It's like, it's like, it's like I always say, you know, I may, you know, I may be attracted to robots, you know, have had sex with a robot, <laughs> fucked a robot in its tailpipe, you know, be married to a robot and be exclusively interested in robots sexually. But at least I'm not a goddamn robophile. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, unlike some at, people. I scrolled down and like so many of these definitions of furry are like incredibly extensive on Urban Dictionary. Because There's they're so all in there. Here. Because they're all in there trying they're, to do PR. Yeah. Our damage control. <laughs> this is a constant, a constant state, a decades long state of society wide damage PR control. Battle. Yeah, has been okay, right. Okay, okay. There's a there's a simpler one here. I, I just skipped. Some of these are short. Listen, furry. Simply one who has interest, small or large, of anthropomorph- anthropomorphic animals, animals who have animal qualities, be it simply talking or having a human-like body. That's so, a little. That's uh, a little. Uh, and th- uh, the next one in this still in the same one. It says one who has interest in anthropomorphic animals does not mean wanting to have sex with them. What? What? What do you mean? It doesn't. They don't want to have sex with them. That's wrong. This is just incorrect. Well, this guy is saying that that's not necessary. It's like saying it's like saying that bronies don't want to fuck 
show people. That, well, that, that, that's okay. exact, okay. It's the exact same correlation. The it's the wording, exact same clo- uh, thing as like, bronies don't clap. It's not sexual. Then as, as hard clap, as it like, is to we believe. We all clap. What are I'm you talking I'm clapping about? right yeah. now. As, as, I proved as, as you hard, wrong. <laughs> as hard as it is to believe, this is an extremely poorly worded entry on UrbanDictionary.com. <laughs> what? To, no! to, say, to say that it d- does not mean wanting to have sex with them, it like implies that it means inherently a furry does not want to have sex. When the no. fact is, it like you can or cannot. No. Like it doesn't. It's, yeah. It doesn't define whether or not you're. Though I, I don't. Is that true? Is that true? Yeah, of course. It, it is, is. is what true? Of there course, there are furries course. who don't want to have sex with animals. Uh, uh, do, do, do furries exist who go to conventions, wear fursuits, but have no desire well, to... Yes. Dude, yes. absolutely. Of absolutely. course there is. Is that true? Absolutely. Yes. Yeah. Okay. I'll bet, I'll bet right. that the proportion of asexuals in the furry community is astronomical. I don't believe in asexuals, but okay, go on. L- okay, okay. Let, let's say our stances. Let's say our stances. Because this is You integral. heard me. We, because you, you may think, oh, viewer, this is just what, going to be a What if you just... Nate, that doesn't make any sense, but okay. I think uh, everyone who says they're asexual is fooling themselves. That's uh, what I got. What about That's what, what I if think. you what yeah. if you don't have sex? Then then what? What, well, what what's uh, your uh, counter argument we, to that? <laughs> are we describing it as a thing that you do, or like a state of mind, like a like a personality trait? Are we talking about oh fucking people no. people who don't want to have sex well, don't exist? I mean, are we like, about okay, that? are we talking you, about literally munchy? Okay, yeah. we'll, we'll get back to this. We'll get back to the asexuality question. I hope we <laughs> don't. <laughs> Let's. All right, uh, Munchie, yeah. you have some experience with furries in I the do. world. I do. Tell us. Tell us the, your tale. My tell us your stance. And, and, and mind your words. Mm-hmm. Uh, oh, I will. My we, stance. We'll my angle be it, that will be integral to this entire episode. My here's my position. Furries were a joke. They were just a fucking meme that you would punctuate friendly conversation with your friends with. It would be mm. like, oh, you know, I'm getting a sick frag, I'm killing a zombie right through his goddamn head. <laughs> oh, this is just like what I would do to a furry if I were to see him on the streets. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and it was a great time. It was it was, mm-hmm. a, it was an excellent time. And then, and then due to, due to circumstances too unlawful and sinful to, to recreate or reproduce with my words, uh, I was thrust into a situation where I would be able to not not be able to. I was forced to examine furry culture and lifestyles mm. on like a uh, every other day basis, and uh, it it, mm. it it made me realize. Wait a second, furries are real and not like a fictional construct made to make other people laugh at what furries are. <laughs> and I <know>. so <laughs> I, 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 I had to, like, examine the furry culture for a while on Twitter. On, on Twitter, I made a tweet about how I was going to try and become a furry. And by that, I, I just meant join furry discords and see what they do. Not to bully, <laughs> not to bully, but to understand, you know, like, like, what's this all about? What's going on here? And I have come back with the data. The data is... That I am a fucking genius and that furries are all terrible, <laughs> except for the furries that are great, which are all of them because all furries are great and I'm a fucking faggot, except for the ones that are shit. <laughs> and I'm so conflicted and nuanced. I'm so nuanced. Kill me. I want to die. I just want to go back to furries being jokes. I wish they were jokes again. I don't want to think about Dude, them. This so, guy got, this guy got nuanced out the ass. This guy got, yeah. achieved maximum over nuance. I and got now it's all over. Nu- for I can't him. even. I, I I I begged my fucking daddy to not let me walk, and then he loaded me up with his nuanced knowledge. That's what fucking happened right now. <laughs> mm, 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 mm. So uh, yeah, needless to say, like uh, uh, there's a, there's things, things going on. Yeah. There's things going on these days as as society progresses and more degenerate elements of society are able to survive on the backs of people who can actually do things with their lives. Uh, like like uh, all this kind of shit is just getting more and more prevalent. You know, uh, what's what's the deal? How do we how do we end them once well, and for all? We'll go, let's go through all of our stances. I mean, I mean, do, do you do yeah, you okay. guys all have the lay curries are bad? No, no, I but a little. No, bit. I'm pretty no, I'm but pretty kind amb- of. ambivalent. My my position is pure ambivalence. I like, would, I don't mm. I don't care for it too much. And in fact, I find a lot of the aesthetic to be pretty pretty unappealing. Sure. Like, like I've I've seen I know people who are furry, so I've seen lots of art, and like, how can you not see furry art when you're on the internet? And like, <laughs> I'm definitely much more, and, and like, not into it sexually at all, obviously. But but in terms of like the aesthetic of like anthropomorphized animals, I definitely swing more towards like I like the like Disney sort of thing, where it's like like the classic Disney movies where they add like humanoid 
features to animals, but like the weird like furry art where it's like a human with like paws. That yeah. like creeps me out when like it's in well, that uncanny so, valley. Yeah, I was talking about, about like so. So you prefer that that like Lion King moment where Nala looks at Simba oh so sexually. Uh, uh, those aren't yes. even fun. Lion, Lion, King's, Lion King's not even no. a furry movie. They're just animals. Yeah. Well, that the thing oh, is, well, where's the? That's a good question. Does it count? Where as is a little right? anthropomorphized? I mean, I mean, yeah. literally, yeah. your movie sucks. Like that's his third favorite movie on the basis of he wants to fuck Scar. So like. I would and say it's is, a furry yeah. movie on some wait, level. Wait, wait, why? Well, no, it, no gets it might be a movie with furry appeal. It might be a movie with furry appeal. But the, Munchie, those characters are I was saying the Lion King, YMS considers that his third favorite movie out of his desire to fuck well, Scar. That, that's you so know. unlike YMS. Why, well, why is the biggest he's furry in the world? Furry you know. Before he is a, uh, before, you H- know. H- Hitler liked painting. <laughs> that doesn't mean that painting is a Nazi thing. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. And just because YMS likes to fuck Scar doesn't mean I can't also want to fuck Scar. Yeah, you know, yeah, you know, you know and not, like, not be like, labeled a damn dirty furry, you know what right, I'm get, saying? Get ready, for, get ready for this hot JoJo reference. It's like just because Kira from part four of JoJo finds the Mona Lisa's hands <gasps> incredible. Incredibly sexual. This. I haven't. Well, seen it's. Part it, four. I mean, no, not really. It's just that, like, the 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 bad guy does find Mona Lisa's hands like a overtly sexual and arousing, but that doesn't mean that like it's an erotic image inherently. Like, this mm. is him bringing that to the table. Right. Sure, you which can I think all, is a pretty you can, good. You comparison. can pervert anything to any degree if you try hard enough. People, people have their you oh, know sexual. All right, all right, guys. <laughs> Indeed, t- we're we're we're, we're, we're kind of getting we're getting off. off when track. are we gonna get poly? Procrastinators. When are we gonna get like 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 oh, game like polygrams? When no. are we gonna get like like procrastinators porn and, and shipping subreddit? That's what I um, want to know. Oh, you mean like oh. between us? Yeah. Oh. Uh so well, I'm honestly surprised it hasn't right, happened. Right yet. now. Yeah, now I'm, you've surprised, done it. I'm you surprised have, it hasn't happened either. You have set it in motion. We're it's not because our, our we're not fandom is sexy. Rel- we're a, we're losers, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> our I don't know what you're relatively, talking about. Uh, uh, you know, gay. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. You no. Know. I, uh, okay. Okay. He, here's some facts. Ninety nine percent of all mm. procrastinators fans are transsexual. Another fact: one <laughs> percent are gay. There right. are no <laughs> other demographics. <laughs> that, 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 is that is truer. Like, like you say that as a joke, but yeah, it's true. No, yeah, that's actually the truth. Yeah, I is know, I know. I mean, I mean, I you yeah, sure there, there's there's a lot of trans people. No, they're not, no, they're not no, like no, the ninety nine percent and one percent. Those are the only. Those are the only percent. <laughs> you know, they're around. Which they're, which, they're is, which is strange. Why why we would choose to be you know, viciously you know, attack? I'm them so <laughs> I'm, <laughs> I'm just so <laughs> glad show. that the privileged class of trans of trans women have you know have thrown their mm-hmm. lot in and th- as as allies of the uh, you know of the downtrodden mm-hmm. PCP. You know, we need that. Uh, uh, of the of the famous alt right po- uh, comedy. <laughs> <podcast>. <laughs> 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 You know, you know it shows a lot of magnanimity. But furries. Well, all right. We're, we're I'm having a great time. Right. <laughs> well, it's a cease. Stop that. Uh, <laughs> we got to talk about. All right. Uh, yeah, yeah. Let's let's continue this. Gen- expressing our general thoughts on furries. So here, here's my thing, and this will not surprise anybody. But I, everyone, anyone who's like judgmental of what somebody is into sexually can just fuck off and die. Mm-hmm. I actually am probably way more. I wouldn't say that I'm pro furry, but I'm 100 percent pro freedom to do whatever the hell you want to I do. I'm pro bestiality. Yeah, <laughs> unironically. Uh, there's uh, there is an argument to make there, I suppose. But uh, yeah, I am like pro if you're a furry bee ball. I'm a pro bee ball. Actually, <laughs> I know you guys on several some people here. I, I don't remember exactly who have argued with me. I've debated that like yeah, if you're like a furry uh, and you go to conventions, you dress up in a fur suit, like. Okay, like, that's a little strange to me. Like, it's not something I would do. But as long as you continue to be a productive human being and it's, like, something that you do just out of fun, then I don't see a problem. But if you stop being productive... If you put that pick uh, down I, well, and stop yeah. mining for slime, then you're going. <laughs> well, then if you're you, done. If you if you start to become like, uh, if you start to be like a dependent, and you start to like be like, oh no, I need to spend all my money to like make myself uh, feel okay about the fact that I'm a furry by getting like increasingly elaborate fur suits or buying all this porn, supporting these artists. So of course, mom and dad, I need you to pay my rent for me so I can like. I, I'm not saying that furries do this, but like if somebody has that attitude about that. anything. That's a problem. I'll that's say a I've problem. Seen it. Mm-hmm. I, I should but also that's, mention... that's not a furry problem. That's being a broken, irresponsible oh, human being. Th- th- okay, okay. Uh, th- this is the thing. Mm-hmm. 
all of my complaints with furries are all in character for me and not related to, like, the core <laughs> of what a furry is. Nothing has to do with, like, the animal side of it. It all is in character complaints that I've complained mm-hmm. about in other situations before that all sure. culminate in this fandom. And it's not inherent to all members of the fandom, but but why should we ignore? Why should we ignore outliers? Why should we ignore well, it's the, it's the, the same face reason. of the fandom? Why should we? It's the same. Uh, that, that's an excellent point. And like you know, for example, bronies as a group, as a movement, get lambasted because many of them, maybe not even a majority, but many of them are obnoxious and annoying. Yeah. So like in the same exactly. way, like have you seen Foam Adventure? That famous. Yes, yes. of course, of I course, I've seen Foam Adventure. That's a legendary video. I wish I liked. Was, like, I wish I liked anything. And a key, I think. <laughs> I wish I liked anything yeah. as much as they liked their foam. I was a little jealous. I, I like honestly. foam adventure as much as they like their foam. <laughs> <laughs> it's just it's just the tale. If you haven't seen it, it'll probably be in the show notes. But like yeah, yeah. it's just the it's a it's a day adventure of two furries going out to get foam uh, in order to make fur suits when they when they come. Is that back what it home. was for? Yes. Yeah, I, I thought they just sure, wanted to like sure. roll around on it. No, no, no. It's for first. That was just a side benefit. Okay. okay. Come on. So they needed uh, and uh, they needed it for something. Well, all right. And sure. like they, they, they don't like do they don't hurt anybody they're they're not really that annoying it's just when you just when you witness this little slice of their lives and you imagine being like and like within three <laughs> feet of them it's just like oh no imagine get me imagine out of living here. like this or adjacent to this but the thing is though with me I I'm not trying to lambast furries or anything it's just that like a lot of it just seems childish to me it seems very like whimsical that's like, yeah we're gonna do like this that. crazy that's thing. Cool. okay okay. I, I completely agree, cool Nate. Does be, anyone cool else want to fucking cool. give their stance? Does anyone fucking... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Does anyone care? I can, I can go. Okay. Yeah, what do you think, Digi? Um, well, as as we were all in the brony community, obviously mm. there's plenty of overlap between that and the furry community. Yes. And, uh, you know, I, I know a whole bunch of people from that community who are furries, especially from being on the pub crawl, because, mm-hmm. like, pub crawl's always been, like, a... It, on some on some level somehow it's always been a furry show i feel like <laughs> like i didn't know that okay i mean like cider is heavily affiliated with the furry community and a lot of the oh. guests we had on there would be into that stuff and because like the nature of the show early on was we got shit faced and talked about like weird um like laws and stuff like we were always talking about things like what animals are surprisingly legal to fuck in what states? <laughs> <laughs> or, uh... <laughs> hmm. Gee, so, if that's not a red flag uh, that it's a furry stellar. show, I don't know what stellar. it is. Yeah, and I mean, yeah. obviously, we, well, I mean, during the pub crawl, we would have somebody in the chat who just would routinely, every show, would just constantly post pony porn. You know, and like we were all okay with that because we saw it as like this is a real outsider program here. Like this is not, you know, we're not expecting anybody who can't handle pony porn to be listening to the fucking pub crawl, which was like a two a.m. show on an obscure pony network. You know, but Mm. like as a result, I ended up talking to you know just like hearing secondhand, and it's amazing how much of it is just like for to me furriness. There's like a whole culture. It's next to godliness, it. you know. It really is. There's, there's definitely <laughs> yeah, okay. like, I, I think to them <laughs> they are almost another, well, another species in a way, but like oh, more okay, like another okay. race of people. Like they, like furries act hmm. the way that like, you know, when you go to like a, a rest, like an Asian restaurant or something, and like mm-hmm. the the family who runs the place are all like talking in Chinese and making fun of you because you can't yeah, speak Chinese. Yeah. That's how I feel around furries. It's like they've devised their own language and they're kind of like making fun of every, like, you know, they're just like, whatever, we're over here. Like, we're using our language so you guys can't understand us. We're, we're like mm, a, in mm. our own other world, you know? Mm. Um, but like, it's mostly a sex thing. So, it's so, mostly yeah, it's so at the end well, of the day. So, so, what you're telling me, Digi, is that so these people are not exactly human and my loyalties are <laughs> intense but extend only to human. So, and since they're furries and they identify outside the normal human spectrum, they're, they're more. More bestial, they wouldn't mind. They wouldn't object if I put them down like a dog. Is what you're telling me. <laughs> that's that's it my depends that's on my, the kink, I guess. I, 
I certainly <laughs> I wouldn't right. mind. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, so, but there, there is a distinction to be, or I mean, I, I'm asking, I guess, because I'm not really an expert. So, like, furry, I, yeah. furry is not equal to other kin. Is not equal to like someone oh, who's into bestiality. Other kin, yeah, if we, if we're, if other kin, if other kin's part of this, that just I, I have mean, so many memories, so many of. memories of trolling other kin. I, I, it was I, a I great time in my relative. life. That that's mm-hmm. like I mean I I mean I I don't I mean I imagine that the other kin percentage number is higher in the furry fandom though it's not sure, an integral sure. part. There's some it. crossover. It's there was the time crossover. there was the time I pretended to be the meta the Metatron like <laughs> reincarnated and talked about and gaining literal superpowers and was like hey guys I'm gaining literal superpowers because my angelic power is manifesting. There well, was like, the time I was a mind oh, flayer. Wow. <laughs> there was the time I was a mind flayer. There Ooh, was a nice. time that I was the spirit of my own fat, and I was also a feeder who Whoa. was determined to become as fat as possible because I identified so strongly awful? with the. Sp- no, it was on like otherkinforums.com or whatever it was back in like <laughs> okay, 2010. Okay. Uh, Damn. Unnerve me. I don't particularly like them, especially the like fictional other kin <laughs> where. And like, th- there's like the subculture of people who take other people's OCs and kin with them. And it's super oh, uncomfortable. Oh there's there's, there's uh, copyright issues like, there, guys. Like that guy, you gotta pay to play. Like that guy who was kin to like that one Digimon character from season two, like the blue haired guy. That's not even that's okay. not even like that, that's like kinning with a show, but like I mean like taking people like such as like let's say me or or, or like any other creator that they don't have anything yeah, you know yeah. published or whatever. They're just one person on the internet. They take their character and they kin with them. Well, now, Mage, mm. is your is your complaint there uh, on, on more of a uh, I, I don't know I'm not trying to dig into it, but like is it is it more of like a like a this is your character? What right does this person have to like define themselves by a character that frankly they don't even know because it's not their character? Like why would they it's, do that? Or are does anyone ever really to, like, know anyone? Well, yeah. no, it's kind of like that, but also like uh, my characters are in mm-hmm. a way also a small extension of myself. Like, they sure, don't necessarily sure. represent myself, they might not have anything in common with me, but they are mm-hmm. a part of me. Like, I put a little bit of myself in them, you know? And, like, then uh, sure, someone sure. takes my character and then assumes them, and then, like... like so if someone if someone kins to a character of yours that is an extension of you, that's basically rape at that point. <laughs> so we, we, gotta, we gotta tamp down on this across it's the board. literally name. It's, literally, it's, it's, literally, yeah, just, you're right. It just right. makes me really uncomfortable. Like, it hasn't happened to me, but it has happened sure. to a few artists I follow, and it's just like the thought idea is just is just really uncomfortable to me. I mean, that, that's a fair point, but aren't there people who other kin as like not even like dead people, but living people? Like, I personally am a Kanye West kin. I feel, I feel, uh, you know, a, 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 yeah, a con, a con kin for sure. A con kin, people yeah. Kin, like, like <laughs> if if I if I bought into the whole kin thing, I don't understand people who kin with people who are still alive because I thought the whole idea is like reincarnation <laughs> or whatever yeah i don't yeah. understand well maybe maybe these people don't believe in the linear progression of time so that being said they could be a reincarnation i just like how about... there's theories that every electron in the universe they, no they, is they the must same they electron. must be adherence to my uh, to my famous mm-hmm. church of transubstantiation wherein a single spirit is reborn throughout time right, and space as right. every individual living thing that ever existed time uh, means uh, nothing to a yes. transubstantialist All to be like myself <laughs> you know Mage is right. If that's true, then we're all just kin of everybody. And that's exact. Oh my God! Yes, it's true. It's true. We're li- <laughs> yes, we're all kin. We're all kin. Yeah, we're all it's, it's not Ben. Ben. Well, ben. So it's, it's <laughs> at that point, Ben. It's not other kin. It's every kin. It, we are the we are I mean, the omni kin. Oh yeah, <laughs> is the word like for this. But you're not. That's the that's the but, name. But, that's the name for this one universal spirit that reincarnates. It is the omni kin because it is kin to all fictional and non fictional alike. Wait, wait, wait! Stop! But you've crossed the line. No. <laughs> no, we're going right in this train all the way to the well, station. Well, I, I guess I guess if we include the multiverse theory as a part of that, then it is literally course, every character, mm-hmm, and of course mm-hmm. we do. Of course, mm-hmm. we do. Oh, but then technically enough. nothing is fictional. So um, it, 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 so in the yeah. races, solved. you can be kin with anyone that you want that's ever existed. Yeah, and yeah. and so you shall, and so it shall be. Amen. Mm-hmm. And well, okay, all right. Let's well, let's focus back on furries now. I I want to ask, uh, like, so. We, we, we said before there is a distinction between a furry and like an otherkin, but like what 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 is going on with a furry who dresses up in a fur suit? Like what is what's going on there? What, what, what's, what's the going deal? On they with what do you mean? Yeah. Said, what, like, you got to be more. What they would like to have sex in the suit made of fur. That well, is but what is that because they is it. that because they feel like they are that creature, or is it that they just like to pretend? <clears throat> I mean, there is a difference there. Oh, I'm okay. just curious. I think, like I, I know a few people well, and. Mm-hmm. 
like from them personal experience, not saying all furries, but from them is just it's kind of like cosplay in a way. They just like yes. to dress up and you know go okay. to conventions okay. and have a good time. I, well, that makes this, sense to me. I I scoffed at this as you should scoff at this because I I have a small <laughs> sample source and I don't even believe what I'm about to say. But I have been told that it is a sort of performance art in the sense that they assume a character uh, with a costume mm, I and then that. they portray this character at conventions. It's not inherently a sex thing. There are actually different yeah. types of fursuits that are specifically like, sex called It's like watch, it's like watch, clowning. Like, uh, if you were to watch the footage <laughs> of, uh, like, YMS will go to furry conventions and, like, just take a bunch of footage and post it on his side channel. And, uh, mm-hmm. yeah, like, the fursuiters always seem to be putting on, like, a cool cat-esque, like, character of, like, over-the-top, <laughs> you know, like, kids show, Hey, I'm a big fursuit man! Like, <laughs> yeah. we're gonna run this convention no. and it's gonna be a great time! We're gonna run like, this you know. convention <laughs> into the ground! Are you, say, are you saying that YMS is attracted to Cool Cat? Um, uh, you know, I never made that not connection. That's impossible. That is, like, oh. it does not look too different from your normal fursuits. Well, I know that know, YMS overall. identifies as a horse, but he is interested right. in, like, big cats. Wait, what? <laughs> Yeah, this is, some, this is some deep Damn. lore that I'm not well, aware of. Well, yeah. that's fine. I mean, this is all very strange, but like, I just want to like, e- like all the weird porn I watch is pretty strange too. Yeah. So I, I, I don't Same. know. I, I, in no way am I trying to disrespect Adam or like anybody I... who's a furry out there. It just, you oh know, no, it's, it's interesting to, and funny. I only know all these things because I like part of why I got into YMS was that I was really fascinated that he was an openly gay furry and willing to mm-hmm. talk about it like very matter of factly. Like, yeah, why the fuck do I care? And I was Are there just like, any other yeah. big name I... furries out there? Who else is a representative of the community? Any, like, I can't. Th- I can't think of any like respected Dr. Wolf. ones. I can't think of any I, that people. I know. I mean, yeah. I have lots us. of friends who are in the furry community, us, yeah. and people who are like I know, I, but nobody who's like giant. Nobody mm-hmm. who's as big as as YMS. Yeah, I guess. I guess. It's I guess all the big, uh, all the big gonna... furries are just big in their little ponds. I, 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 I want. I want. I need. I feel like I feel the need to separate church and state here, real quick, because okay. If, okay. if if we if we. I just want to put the kibosh on this real quick. Being a furry does not inherently mean that you are sexually attracted to furry creatures. Now, yes, I'm not saying that that's not a huge part, but I, but I just feel the need to separate that because I have no problem with the sexual component of it. Okay, mm-hmm. I'm going to level with you real quick. If furries were just a cult of, of red-robed, you know, Illuminati fucking, you know, Burning Man type cultish uh, freaks whose sole, you know, a tenet of their, of their personality and religion is that they love to fuck like turtles I would have no problem my my, my problem and when I, I should specify my problem is my my specific I don't like them opinion opinion like danger like mm-hmm. red alert police sirens opinion uh, is with their culture and their culture is truly disgusting to me for in character yes. reasons now that have been honed <laughs> outside of the furry fandom yeah We've been we've been magnanimous and and dancing around the issue, but let, I want to get into the shit. I want to wait into the, the, the swamp and the do, mire. And I, the I wanted to bring okay. up. It was funny that Munchie mentioned uh, Burning Man because Dick always tells us uh, Dick of the mm-hmm. Dick Show always tells the story of uh, going to Burning Man and going to see the furry <coughs> tent, and it was like the only one that was like this fully realized like. The almost futuristic like technology <laughs> tent where they had like built an entire hut with like TV and they'd gotten cable and shit out there like it was just an orgy dome like it was just a place where they like literally would just have gigantic furry orgies. However, <laughs> they had the best and like most fully realized tent at Burning Man because the furries are <laughs> are are geniuses and uh, an entrepreneurial. I I really do think <laughs> that furries for mm-hmm. I don't know what the connection is. The Seems to be some connection between furries and engineering, and like that. Yes, is like, I've noticed this too. Because because the, the suits maybe because they're complicated. I, I, guess. I think right. it's probably just they're both things that nerds do. So I, I mean, <laughs> that's, a, that's right. definitely a huge part of it. And I gotta tell you, I was just at this convention called um, called Toricon, which is at mm-hmm. the Rochester Institute of Technology, really huge oh. engineering school that's been around for for like a hundred years or something. Or however, they've been around forever. They, they have sh- they're you know pres- fairly. Pres- Prestigious, but they have a gigantic anime convention, like a 3,500 person con at the school. Mm-hmm. And it's because the school 
has enough of a weeb population that there's not only nearby <laughs> the best manga store I've ever been to, with it like a All block right. away from the school, um, one of the best tabletop game stores I've ever seen in my life, like within a block of the school. Like, everyone at the school's a fucking nerd. And... While we were there, not only are there furries in fursuits all over the school, like, like, think <laughs> about this. These people go to school here. Like, almost everybody at this convention is somebody who goes to school here, and yet they are willing to walk around in fursuits, like, in front of everyone they know, because mm-hmm. this school is just so full of nerds, well, and like there's such a huge furry co- population. Well, well that, that's true. That's, I mean... <laughs> They were all hanging out tell. just among the crowds. Well, like, okay, I, I, there's, there's here's tons. Rooms. We're talking about a school that has like, like, uh, div- like diversity and inclusion like messages everywhere. Yeah, but the moment yeah. that Gross. really got to me was even like, <laughs> if we're at a convention and there's furries everywhere, whatever. But I saw that this there were posters up for a cosplay formal dance. This school has cosplay formal dances, and it de- oh, it depicted in the picture like two two like a couple of like anime drawn characters like in in you know gowns like dancing, and they both have cat or they both have tiger ears because the school's <laughs> mascot is a tiger. So all of right, their like right. branding, they just have like anime characters with tiger ears as like their mascot characters. <laughs> That's cute. Well, so it's just uh, a furry uh, school is basically what I'm saying. I went now, to furry here's school. A- Here's a question. Like a um, if I uh, if I own a local coffee shop and I observe a pack of furries walking into my establishment, here's my question: If I refuse to serve them and demand they leave immediately uh, because they're creeping out me and everyone else around me, not that this has happened. I'm just saying in a hypothetical: uh, Is it a human rights issue? Yes, is, of course. Uh, but, well, well, here's stupid? but but they are not human. They are subhuman. You, you might say <laughs> these are furries. They Christ. do not. You know, they don't fit. Uh, that's, that's my joke. Okay, that's the whole extent of it. All right, but anyway, nice. what, what, what are we getting into here? Oh, yeah, Munchie. Munchie was gonna, yeah. was gonna go I, into I, his I, deep I, 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 I want to give one final last disclaimer, not for the audience, but for you guys. Because mm. I, I have been trying to be, you know, you know, passe and be nuanced and be, you know, you know, I, I'm, I'm trying to put on the kid <laughs> gloves and say, you know, you know, I'm trying, I've, I've been trying to defend furries a lot. I will continue to defend furries, but make no mistake, all of you are fucking idiots because I hate furries more than you could ever, ever possibly <laughs> understand. And I hate them I for, 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 for nuanced and on point reasons. My reasons are on point. The furries are calling point. right now, dude. They've, they've got a problem with this. They, they want to talk to the manager. The know, phones right? are ringing off the hook. So, 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 so all you guys are being like, oh, fucking aren't whales gross or fuck you uh-huh. if you like horses. I'm over here with the real fucking raw actual shit. Point one of why you would actually hate furries, a.k.a. Mm-hmm. it's my opinion and I'll have like a reveal later and it will be narratively catharsis and kunzwerk. Point number one, uh, okay, this obviously the sex and not as in like not not as in the like you know i want to fuck a horse that's completely fine that's completely sure. fine go go at him what i dislike is the openness I, I, i'm i'm gonna i'm gonna coin this term mm, mm. uh that will be used at the entire thing unearned smothering kinship so this is unearned Ooh. smothering kinship, where when yes. you are part of yes. community, keep in mind I've prowled furry forms. You know, I, 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 I've prowled. done the work. <laughs> I've done the fucking work. This is true. The furry stereotype is not inaccurate, and it is true. The 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 sense of like it, it's it's like the Ben and Jackie College Fund. You enter, you 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 enter. Everyone's <laughs> super nice. Everyone's super like unbelievably oh, no. like touchy and like feeling one another, and everything's soft. And and it's it's this feeling that I've described over and over again throughout this podcast. It's when you're in bed, and you're in, you're in bed, it's winter, you want to get nice and cozy, and then after a while, and you're in your hop, and you're like, this is too hot. This is too much. Like, I, I need to get out of the covers. I need to be cool. I can't be in this fucking softy, this fucking touchy, this feely, too up in, uh, too up in my fucking grill, this coddling, yeah, fucking yeah. overheating, a din, this cesspool of sex and fucking villainy. The openness that these people have to do to do lewd and perverse, and, and not even just, like, strictly destructive, but, like, like nay, I think, I, I, I'm trying, I'm struggling to come up with the words, but, like, well, let me 
very you, you understand yeah, okay. like like how niceness. I know goes exactly what you're talking I, yeah, about. Yeah, and yeah. The, well, the, the problem with the, the 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 problem with communities of inclusivity is that to some degree, humans are both physically and mentally we're designed to be beasts of burden, and we are expected to have psychological loads and not have just everybody say how great and wonderful yeah. we are all we're the time. We're not beasts of we, burden. We, we're pack hunters. Well, uh, the, whatever. I, you know, I we, we, we fall under many umbrellas here. To burn. But but here's my point. Like the reason I prefer to hang out among communities that are like overtly in the opposite direction, like on 4chan, where everyone is incredibly vicious and cruel to each other, is because I just see more like usefulness to come from that, as opposed to people just placating me all day about like you're perfect just the way you are. There's no need to improve. Like and like there's an, that's of course important in some measures. Like we want to not shame people for just being weird or different but mm-hmm. to say that like every choice now that back to how much makes, we hate like, furries be, being a furry is a fine thing to do but if you walk around in a fursuit and people know who you are all i'm saying is i am not casting judgment but i am telling you there will be social ramifications of doing so yeah that you'll have a lot of great sex sure. with like-minded furry people <laughs> <laughs> that's that's what I, you have to look yeah, forward to yeah, did, right. did, congratulations did, right. did, did you speak on the subject because i want to know yeah, if you're i mean yeah. mm-hmm. more on the openness about the sex yes. Th- th- that's what I care about. It's like sure. really, it's really, yeah, it's intense. Like, furries, because of the fact that they have that culture of, like, understanding each other, I guess. Um, yes. Like, the, it, it's uh, the over the your window, dude. It, let me, it, let it, me it's, put it's, in, because, it's because they yeah. can do, you know, some it, it that are all freaks. It is definitely windows. Yeah, yeah they're, they're all well, freaks, and, and, and they yeah, allow yeah. themselves to do degenerate things. And so the overall, like, you know, how how much can you touch your friend? How how much, you know, yes. how, how much weird flirting can you do? Yo, let, let like, me like, tell you, all let me tell dialogue, you. all dialogue between for, if, if, uh flirties but between furries, furries. is flirty it's flirties. all it's all that, yeah in my experience dancy that is and kitty and flirty yo yo listen, listen to this okay here's here's the real shit there's a word that i think that has been lost to, to the ages a little bit and i think it is such an important word i don't know maybe people would disagree but the word is classy i like things that are classy and you know what in my humble opinion what is not classy is like talking overtly about sex open and like you're involved with it all the time, Digi. Like bringing up <laughs> sex when it's not relevant and like like it's it's you you are allowed to do it. You are it's fine. It's not a problem. But I don't want to hear about it. I'm not interested mm-hmm. in how much sex you are having. Like the weird things you get up one time. Like, a neighbor of mine when I was growing up, like, I asked her for a ride home, just told me, like, I can't give her a ride home. I'm going to a threesome. That happened to me in my real life. Mm -hmm. I would have said the same damn thing if I was going to a threesome. (laughs) I mean, that that was totally fine. But, like, you got to think, what was she trying to do? She was, like, trying to, like, shock me or something because she knew Mm -hmm. I was a fucking gay-ass twink. Like, Mm -hmm. she could have said, I'm just busy. (laughs) She chose to tell me she's going to a threesome. She wanted it out there. Because she wants to brag about getting to go to a threesome. Don't get me wrong. That's totally fine. And, I again, I respect her right to do so. All I'm saying is classiness, her classiness took a hit when she told sure. me that that's 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 I, all I'm i have saying. no attraction to to the classiness that you speak i of. i can tell i, I have tell. no <laughs> i just i don't if you're uh, when it comes to like sexual stuff i feel like i mean you mm-hmm. i know you agree with me that like we need to be more open about sexuality for our uh, yeah. for our culture's sake and I don't like. I do think the, that maybe the furries are like an overextension of that, and I'm sure that has to do a lot with the fact that there's probably a sh- fucking near one to one autism ratio in the community. Mm-hmm. On, you it, know. I, I, I've done the numbers. It is high. It is not more than half, but it is high. Okay. I'm I okay. on Nate's side. Like I don't. I don't like unsolicited TMI about your sex life. Well, D- D- Digi is right, though. I-, I definitely agree that I think society as a whole will be better off once I mean, we're yeah, at I this place. It, but it's just that but it's just that right now, with like well, there, being open there is and a just difference being in your face about it. I mean that that's true. I mean, I like if if we lived like I, like fucking Star Trek, for example. Like there are just planets you can go to. Like on Earth, like people are relatively conservative about these things. But if you go to like literally like the sex planet in Star Trek, like it's like then you can just talk yeah. about fucking anything I mean, you want I, all the time. I'll you say know? that it's it, if there is let's say a furry convention and the furry convention is just a big orgy. I'm okay mm-hmm. with that because it's just a bunch of furries. Like everyone's going there knowing what it is. 
there is definitely something weird about, for instance, at BronyCon, where mm. every year I would hear that there is somewhere a BronyCon orgy. <laughs> like, every year yeah. at BronyCon, yeah. in some hotel room nearby, a bunch of furries get together and have a huge orgy. And, and, and Brony this is like this is something sure. you hear about, like, floating over the crowds at, at BronyCon. And you see people, you see furries, like, you know in fursuits with shirts like down to yiff and shit like that like <laughs> like it's it's brazenly sexual on some level and then you're like but this is a my little pony convention where well, like you know, there's also uh, 6 yeah. year old girls around and it's like well okay D- did you there degree. are also there are also 6 year olds at furry conventions well, well, I mean, okay, you're not wrong. I want to speak on some six year olds are furries and want to get into that orgy. I guess. Like, there's there's definitely some crossover between, like, for example, like the gay rights movement and stuff. Because, like, a lot of it is it's about like being proud of who you are and like not allowing society to like shame you and repress you. But like. Y- I mean, you know, again, there's a context for everything and there's degrees of doing different things. And like if you're at like a gay pride parade, like there's kind of you're making a statement if you just like make out if you're a guy and you're gay and you just make out with a dude publicly and it's like sloppy and just like like just celebrating being gay like that actually has kind of like some utility. It's like you're like challenging social norms and stuff. And so like I I get it. I mean, and and, you know, now it's legal. So like things have changed and it's starting to get a little passe. So how about we shut the fuck up about that? (laughs) <laughs> I'm just kidding, but I'm like uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm just kidding. I'm just, I'm just kidding, everyone. Come on, come on. I'm just, I'm just saying I'm just that, like, just like, like with, with, Nate's with, like, like exactly. taking pot shots at all the fucking quote unquote repressed groups. So he's just like, I got, I got to really black. I'm cur- I am currently defending all of them by saying that I totally understand the desire to like feel that you can express your sexuality just in general. And I think I, I think just that leads to a little bit of overcompensation is all I'm saying. I, I again like I'm I, with I you guys completely. on all of this. I think there's there's a lot yeah. of like I feel shame, so I'm going to hyper like accentuate yeah. this in response. Which is then, logical to a degree. Sure. Mm-hmm. I think that at the same time though that becomes a, I don't want to say where obnoxious. the stigma comes from though. Right. Yeah, yeah, you're, yeah. you're just you're 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 being more comfortable in of yourself and you're probably winning allies, but you're also creating enemies you wouldn't otherwise have at the same time. That's you know, true. There's I, a difference. I, there's a, there's a big social problem with confusing tolerance with like acceptance, like, like people tolerate things even though they don't like them. And that's what we should aim like, for. Like right you, now. Everyone, you don't have the right to be loved by everybody. Well, that's like, for sure. That's And for sure. there's a huge difference between fighting for tolerance and fighting for being loved. And I feel I mean, like, like a lot of people have that problem. Right right now, I still get shit occasionally. This is pretty rare for me, but just like people will at me and like give me shit about the fact that I even liked my little pony at all, despite like never being in any way like a creep or like weird about it. I simply like a show. And because it's associated with like el- things happening with other people elsewhere. Uh, you know, even maybe touching into the furry community to some degree, obviously, like then that it, it, there's just there's a social miasma that just swirls around these things. Uh, and I mean, it's around every community. You know, there's there's bad things about every single community, which sure. is why I'm so anti identitarian and think everyone should just be their individual self I, and I, be judged on their own merits. Yeah, th- this will yeah. be a thing later. Uh, Word. To, to all yeah. viewers, you 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 hmm. you may like think. Ah, these fucking guys, what the fuck are they talking about? They just don't want people to be nice to one another in their own fucking Discord servers. What's it hurting you guys? Well, that's the thing, you fucking dumbass slut, you fucking drink up, come, you fucking bitch. Is because I have opinions, and I have been forced to think about my opinion on this subject. And as mm. you all know, in a little podcast named Arm or Fucking Trevel, I discussed extensively how much I dislike the characters for exhibiting overly sexual and creepy, disgusting, perverted uh, dialogue constantly yeah, without yeah. any respite, and how I dislike the overall, you know, jovial and cheerful and, you know, hug boxy nature of the characters in that. So don't you come fucking tell me that this is some, like, you know, oh, I'm just hating furries for no fucking reason. Ah, oh, my son's a fucking furry and he's taking ten <laughs> cocks up the ass. You know what the fuck you're talking about. <laughs> well, you know what? Maybe I don't, but am I not allowed to feel things am i not allowed to have a soul am i not allowed to let my heart sing all right well what else you got munchie I, what's what's point two I here want, or, or I mate, want, mate, I yeah, yeah. To say something well i i mm-hmm. actually wanted to sort of shift the topic about your opinion about like personas and stuff yes yes I, I would love to get in this please please 
Like, oh, like specifically, would you guys like to have personas or just? Uh, well, uh, I'm, I'm, please, I'm please define. Wait, wait. In, in mage, in your own words, please define a fursona. Uh, well, basically, you, but as like an anthropomorphic animal. We so it's kind of like maybe all have those because we were all we all have brony so yes. Yeah, <laughs> I kind of, I kind of, I kind of like put the brony part away from the furry. I have, I, like to separate I have them. no interest in doing that specifically with like an anthro animal man man boy or. I mean, it's just like gal. what 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 is the end game of having a fursona? If you what just really you like animal it's people. Just... And you want to be just an a way of person. Part- it's just natural. No, it's just, it's I think it's just a way of participating like in the community. Nice. Like the same reason we all had horse characters. Yeah, to that's, like, that's true. Okay. It's the exact it's same thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, mm-hmm. I did like some sketches like a way, way back yep, ago yep. before before Munchie was even mm-hmm, born. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> god that's true. That's true. Uh, of like uh, several of uh, us members as like animal characters. Like... I think yeah, that was for an them. RPG that we were gonna do. Yeah, yeah, I I was a spider lady, Whoa. and yeah, that was great. I remember those. Yeah, the, so the you pigs. technically you guys have <laughs> personas. Well, okay, yes. but you're calling it a persona. To part. me, it's almost like just like fan art of a sort, yeah. you know, in, in a certain I mean, way. I, I think a huge part of the existence of personas has to do with the fact that like. Fur affinity and like artwork is such a big part of the the furry community, mm-hmm. and so people just kind of have a character so that there is a vessel to have art. Like mm-hmm. like YMS, for instance, will regularly well, buy commissions of just his mm-hmm. like other artists he likes drawing his horse character, and since mm-hmm. the, you know commissions, they can charge whatever they want if it's a good enough mm-hmm. artist so mm-hmm. like these people are willing to pay to have their personas so like it's just kind of a part of the culture is like this this weird Commission. dropping all your money on like bronies were like yeah. this too this is also but part of bro- furries bronies or furry other culture level. are like they just well, yeah, spend okay. lots and lots of money and i do think there's I, an element of like a i think a lot mm-hmm. of like well bronies tend and, to be I, like Furries have this kind of like disposable income, is what I'm saying. Sure, sure. I I I, I want to stress that I have literally seen a person on Tumblr (laughs) that like is poor and could barely pay rent by eight eighty dollar commissions. Like like he spent literally, literally like all of his money, all of his rent money. I'm not fucking joking. Like seriously, well, Munchie, Munchie, what would you say? What would you say to someone who came back with this? Like someone who's maybe like a member of the trans community and would say that like but munchie don't you see he needs to invest at least some maybe that's too much money but like he he feels like like he doesn't belong in his body and he feels like he needs to be depicted uh as this persona in order to feel okay about himself i don't think that's 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 not the point of them but, but, but not, I, I would no? say, no, okay. no, th- th- that's not at all the point. Maybe that's no, the other kind thing. I, I, don't know. I, Nate, I, I think know. that what, what Munchie is describing with this guy, this is something yeah. I've seen a lot of, which is just some people get locked into pleasure spending and yes, fucking yeah, exactly. literally yeah. just spend all their right. goddamn money. And uh, it's, a, it's a big thing in these communities. Like, my, uh, my ex-girlfriend was mm-hmm. not really a pleasure. furry, but she was big into, like, buying plushies on DeviantArt. And, yeah, like, literally yeah, yeah. would just, like, spend all her fucking money on that and then ran out of money and, like, had no money anymore because <laughs> she would drop, like, $500 on a plushie, like, a custom-made Etsy plushie, like, every fucking week. And well, uh, that's eventually hey. you don't have money anymore. So that's what happens. Did, yeah, see, I mean, it's uh, like, it's uh, advice everything... like anything else. Yeah, yeah go on, Munchie. Go on, Munchie. D- Did you side topic real quick. I was re-listening to the horse cast for, for various reasons. And in the first episode, like, 20 minutes in, you're just like, hey, can I just, like, bring my ex-girlfriend into the call? And she's like, uh, okay. And then she's just there for the rest of the episode. Is that true? Just, like, in the background, just (laughs) sometimes chiming in. Damn, I never noticed that. I must have not listened to that one. Very funny. Uh, very fucking funny. (laughs) Uh, well, Uh, I think I made my point. So okay. I mean, well, what I was gonna say was like, uh, I, you could, I that is a, a good point, Digi. I totally think that's a reasonable thing to say. It's just you like, don't know what I, I said. You, that was like a pat, like none of what you just said would would reconcile with the thing that I had said. 
Like, no, no. Well, I mean, no. That's what I'm saying. It's like what what I'm saying is like the most defensive position that like yeah. someone who's like trying to like explain this behavior as like a, a necessary thing somebody needs to engage. No, in. no. I'm not and, trying to say that at all. I'm just saying that some dumb yeah. motherfuckers just like to blow through all their goddamn yes, money. That, that's what I'm like, saying too. Like, it's just, not defensible like at all. This guy's other. a fucking well, idiot. He just doesn't know no, how to no, spend you, money. You, you're right. I, I'm just recognizing that as a fair counterpoint to what I was saying. And yeah. like, it's it's really hard for me to. Like, know what that's like. Like, once in a while, yeah, I, I absolutely I, do just waste some money on, like, a new video game that I really don't need that I want. Yeah. But, like, to, to this degree is unfathomable to me. I can't imagine doing that. I don't know, man. I guess these are just – I think these are just irresponsible people if you if you, you do something, you know, to that degree. You, you know, I mean, sure. if – if I... <sighs> I, if you, if you're not an artist, I can understand wa- wanting to mm-hmm. spend tons of money getting like art of your character made. Well, I feel I mean, blessed. Okay. I feel blessed to have the skills that I can just do it myself and turn my nose up at those. Yeah, but that's your privileged. goddamn the, the privilege. Thing, it is my privilege, and I'm fucking. I'm never yeah, checking the, the it. The thing is, though. Um... But you learned how to draw, Ben. I don't accept that as a privilege. No, I was born with this ability. I never worked a day in my life. Ben, ben, <laughs> All right, though, the, like, but there's like different art styles out there and something yeah, you can do and maybe that's you true. want to see in a different style. That's maybe. true. Okay, that's that's fair. I'm not, yeah, it's, I'm not saying... I, I do understand. I do understand the, the drive to like commission art. Like It makes yeah, sense I, to I, me. I, I hardly ever do it. I, but, I, I mm-hmm, sort of, mm-hmm. I sort of share it. I, I guess it's a bit of an ego of an artist. <laughs> like, yeah. Why, why pay for it if I can do it myself? But at the same time, I wanna, I wanna support my fellow artists, and also I like other uh, art styles. So I have commissioned other artists to draw my characters a few times. It's really fun. It's really neat. It's, it's just, it's kind of. I guess it's kind of paying, like, like paying for fan art. So it's kind of sad, but at the same yeah. time, <laughs> it's really fun <laughs> to yeah. see the art in the end. So. I- I, I want to discuss OCs mm-hmm. and, and and not just you know mm-hmm. original characters like 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 Ben. You wouldn't consider like a Magda an OC, right? N- this is I'm very it's interested in this discussion of what yes is, yes I, yeah, what I, is an OC and yeah yeah I think technically anything you make up yourself is an OC. Naruto but I think that but 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 but, 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 but yeah. I think that yeah. if you say, talk like that, it doesn't make any sense. I think you might at that point you might right. as well just call them. Well, your you know like, I, I, I have a definition. I have a definition. I have a definition. Okay. I, okay. Uh, for this discussion. I, I I want when I say OCs, it'll be short for NCs, which is narrativeless characters. These are characters mm, that you uh, create okay. just for the purpose of having a character. See, see, that's a little yeah, different okay. to Those me. Like and I, I mean, avatars is a word I would use as well. Like, to me, because you can sure, have multiple sure. avatars, you know, and these are just mm-hmm, the ones mm-hmm. you cycle between if you even use them that way. But like, yeah, it's it's really fascinating the way that people will like project themselves onto an illustration they didn't even make up yeah, and then yeah. like be like this is who I am now and I spend all my money on this character now like to, to me fucking, yeah it's interesting an, an OC mm. like I always felt like the best d- definition for an OC is a it's a it's a character but it's a character that exists within like another canon that you don't own. correct that's like an yeah, OC is a character mm. you make up that mm. is in like my Little Pony or Danganronpa yeah, or whatever. M- most of the time, fan character. But like, I mean, the the terms are interchangeable. It doesn't really matter so much. But like, specifically, mm-hmm. that would be a fan character, like in a fandom. Fair okay. enough. What about a character that exists outside of any fandom? That's well, just th- like those a... exist, and those are what I would yeah. call NCs. N- but that's what I would right, call right. Sure, OCs sure. because I always create a narrative for my characters, even if they well, don't have a okay. fandom. Well, I mean, okay, okay, if you create a narrative for them, and, like, you create, like, a comic or something for them, then, like, no one can, like, 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 I know I'm gonna sound super pretentious here, but I totally do, and I can't deny that I put, like, characters in a story above characters without a story, and I think we can all understand why, because you need narratives to great, uh, get, get, like, greater insight into the characters, and gives them a purpose for existing, and allows, you know, themes... Narrative like, plots to come out of them and make me care about them. To, to I do not care about n- narrative. But aesthetic is I narrative. Think it's important to That's know. true. Okay, hold on. Wait, I uh, want to talk. About, this is important. Well, yeah. thanks for interrupting me like three times. S- sorry. <laughs> 
Uh, to make a character, I think it's important to know why you're creating the character, what purpose, and for what sort of universe or whatever. Mm -hmm. Even though, like, a lot of my characters mm -hmm. lack, lack description on DeviantArt, and I'd be like, hey, I made this boy, isn't he cute? And, you know, I, I don't put any information. Know that I still think about the information when I'm drawing, like, what's the purpose of this thing well, or so, that thing. So the audience, it's, though, how do they know any of this? Well, I... Some of it should be conveyed in the design, I would think, you know. Yeah, in like the, the design has yeah. to be informed by your ideas because it has to have some sort sure, of consistency sure, sure, sure. with whatever you're right. doing. A lot of. Like... I mean, by that definition, then every character ever drawn, like, there has to be some thought into why they are what they are. Yeah. So, I mean, you know, is it a degree? It's necessarily true because you could have the decision of, like, this guy's mm -hmm. wearing this chain because it will look cool on this outfit, or you can think, like, uh, yeah, this yeah, guy picked right. up this chain from his g dead grandma and, like, it has a fucking secret resonance and also it's like how he you know uses you know what it is blade, it's like you know? i was thinking of it, like, if if your character exists in any narrative then they have to like have like a history and a story has it, it's like it's like when you try to observe an electron that's when it like chooses a placement it's when you try to observe a character in any narrative like their history develops instantly but until you do so it does not exist Schrodinger's you know what I mean? character. You know what I mean? Schrodinger's, Schrodinger's I think, girl. Character. I think that a character yeah. <laughs> doesn't need... Okay, I mean, I think that you can, like, plan out your character's, like, history and backstory and personality and relationships and all that stuff. I wouldn't say that you mm -hmm. shouldn't do that. But I think that you totally can create a character with, like, very little history or, or, or like, pre-thought and, like, put them in a story and have a character kind of emerge out of that. I, I don't disagree. Totally. Totally. That, that's not no, what I'm just... arguing. I, I'm, okay, not, well, I'm, I'm kind of arguing against Mage that, that like that kind of, that kind of like pre narrative like character creation is like it's not always necessary. All right, enough of whatever the hell we were just talking about. Munchie, get to the business. The point, the point here that I dislike OCs for is because I feel they are like basically inherently shallow without other characters or a narrative or a plot to speak of. I feel that they are shallow, shallow and cannot reach like the same level as like you know a fucking anime. Wait. Comedy. Wait, 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 wait. You're, you're talking about a furry in real life? Or like no, I'm, a character? no I'm, talking, I'm talking about an OC. I'm talking about an OC. Oh, oh, yeah, okay, okay, okay. So, so, the, so uh, well, this ties into real life because mm -hmm. most of the fursuits are the OCs that people have created. Right. So I, 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 I am I willing like... to binge a little bit and, and allow people to say, you know, it's a performance art. You know, these people mm -hmm. are performing mm -hmm. a character when they put on the costume. But I if it's a shit that. character, yeah, then... Yeah, I... but it's a shit <laughs> character is my point. It's a shit <laughs> character that is shallow. And, oh, okay. There's a difference between a Sona and a character, but yeah. No, no, I, I, I'm, I'm aware that there is, but a lot of there are fursuits that are not fursonas. There, yeah, it, it's not, it's not, it's not. Well, a is it, is it, faux, is it a faux pas thing. to go up to someone and say you're boring and I find your real life narrative shit? Because like, <laughs> if we do that, <laughs> is it a faux pas I, to I'll, come up to someone I and tell you that? I have done yeah. that and it was yeah. a faux pas. It was definitely not. <laughs> <laughs> who, who, who would have guessed? Because <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> that's basically what Munchie is advocating here with the furry community. Your narrative is garbage. You need to revisit. I, it from what, the why am I advocating going up to people and like shoving them? down to the ground and like well, beating the shit out of them. Why am I doing that? <laughs> because you're a white nationalist. When, when I, I was know. in okay. high school, I told a girl she was yeah. cliche and she did not take oh, that very well. Oh, damn, that's pretty, that's, that's pretty like... That's, that's pretty, called that's a girl like, a basic that's, bitch. Like, that's like that's that part nerd. in American Beauty where the guy tells the girl mm. that she's boring and ordinary. Oh, yeah. My favorite part. Because <laughs> I'm like all women. Am I right, man? <laughs> 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 Smash. Shout out to my right. big towels. Smash right. the right. matriarch. For what it's worth, though, she was like the only female juggalo I've ever met, so she wasn't that clean. Whoa! 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 Wildly the recontextualized female... the story. Dude, the only female juggalo I've ever met was Jackie. So, like, this is like expanding my... <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know, she's always down to clown. Um... <laughs> <laughs> Alright, alright. Uh, uh, so I, I want to shift to point two of why I why I hate mm. furries. And, yes. and and by why I hate furries, you, you all fucking know. I'm not going to put on the fucking kids anymore. It's a fucking joke. I'm supposed to be hyperbolic in order to maintain comedy. I don't of actually, course. you know, it's it's not... I don't actually have that much ill will. Why I hate furries! <laughs> two fursuits! I hate... Yes. 
fucking fur suits. Fur suits are ugly. They're and definitely here's gross. The thing. They're ugly, man. They're uh, ugly. He, here's what all furries, all furries have jumped up. Their ears, their 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 little cute tail ears have perked up, and they're yeah. writing a mean comment right now. <laughs> you guys have only seen fucking mas, you know, uh, mascot costumes. You haven't seen the real Rasha. You're just taking the worst of the bunch and you know making fun of them. Not all fur suits are the same, my friend. <laughs> Sick. But here's what I have to say to you. The best and the worst fursuits, I hate them for the same reasons. That's what I say mm. when I say that I don't like anime style or like furry style. It's not that they are literally the same. I just hate them all for similar reasons. That's mm-hmm. why I say that mm-hmm. I don't like the first style is because there are there are things about uh, you know, uh, commonly you know generic furry styles that are all like similar among different artists. Yeah, and and, and, okay. and this is this okay. is the same for fursuits. You're right. Obviously, there are good fursuits and there are bad fursuits, but they are indistinguishable to me because they both have the same trappings. I've seen Autumn Fallings. Yeah, fucking name dropped. I'm a patrician. Yeah, and get on my fucking level. I, I want to. They're, they're still bad. I gotta back that up. You know, sometimes mm-hmm. the artwork is well crafted, but like mm-hmm. aesthetically, furry yeah. art is fucking repulsive. And I, it, I'm not even gonna knock them for that because. Obviously, a lot of the shit that I like would repulse a, a lot of people. Like, mm-hmm. uh, the the porn I look at, if you showed mm-hmm. it to your mom, she'd just fucking die instantly. Like, knowing that, <laughs> like, literally knowing that someone jacks off to this would kill a lot of moms. The, the well, thing about the furry aesthetic that gets me, more than, I mean, I don't like it, but more than just that I don't like it is that I fi- it's incredibly samey, and it's yeah. all very, like, self- reflective you know like it you all know, looks like I, itself yeah it's very incestuous it's, 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 it's literally like well, it's, it's tons it's and tons of the inward, same, it's, it's also of, insular well it's, the, the problem it's is a bunch of young like, it's young say, artists copying yeah. old artists that all copied fucking don bluth right you, you know but, but or, or that it's, right that, it's that, that kind of s- s- scenario the thing that makes i think furry stuff like not as good as like anime is that like anime the, like there is an anime style that like anyone sees like that's an anime mm-hmm. but there are things like just for example one piece that does not look like a normal anime and, and, and i would argue it's like, like interesting too. there's for yeah. just like well, that i, I yeah. was just exactly going to say that i've never seen any furry art that like I oh no 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 me. there's well, you know i mean you know there's what? tons I said of that, i say that but then i found this online but then i found this image Let's and, see. Uh, oh. I knew, I knew that I had found true love Where? on this day. <laughs> Where is this? It's in the main chat. It'll be in the show notes, everybody. You're gonna want to see this shit. There's, um, there's this one that's undeniably oh. beautiful. Here, I, 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 I have to. Oh find this. no! You guys keep talking, and I'll be listening. <laughs> well, I, have, I have to. We're find getting this derailed. Shit. It, 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 t- Tom, Tom, what do you have to say about all? You're, you're a known degenerate. What do you oh, think about yeah, all this? Definitely. Mm-hmm. Um. I don't know. I don't. I don't really find fur suits all that aesthetically pleasing. Mm-hmm. Um, I I think the my biggest problem with fur suits, and there I will admit there are some that dodge this problem, like the ones that are mm-hmm. done like immaculately well. They all feel very lifeless. Like the whole idea is like you're trying to like pr- portray this like cartoon character, but like there's just very little like emotion in the face or anything, and it feels yeah. very like uh, sure dead. Like you, it feels like you're wearing some like Uncanny. cartoon husk. Yeah, yeah. Okay. you know, yeah, okay. I, let that's me right. let me tell that's you right. a little story that's somewhat relevant to this. I went to Chuck E. Cheese not that long ago uh, for Jackie's mm-hmm. birthday, and Chucky was there. The man himself, <laughs> uh, damn, who, yeah, uh, he was quite <laughs> short. He was quite short. He he was like he only came up to like my nose. So, um, Wait, hmm. yeah, hmm. and th- and I like I went to give him a Weird. high five, and he's like looking down with his big stupid mouse grin, and he's like waving at the kids that are all like jumping around and grabbing tickets out of his hands, and he's like, mm-hmm. and I went to but- give him a high five, and he totally totally whiffed me he oh, whiffed no. me but you know why i realized oh, later it's because he could not see me because he yeah, could only I see down it. out of his mouth oh yeah okay. well here's here well i guess that makes sense this is supposed to be children yeah yeah uh, he's but... only can only see the kids <laughs> below him he but here's see the world of adults that lives above this is kind of going off track but i can kind of pull it back into something relevant um that's terrifying me. Uh, is that <laughs> look at this one, everybody? It's a Pikachu fursuit. All right, I get it. The show notes. <laughs> Check this shit out. Yeah, oh, that's a good one. Damn, dude, she thick. Dude, this girl. Have, have she you thick. Seen Celestias? Have you seen the Celestias? Oh no, God. I don't oh, want to no. know. But Ben, Ben, <laughs> yeah. I'm surprised they still even have fursuits at Chuck E. Cheese because the current Chuck E. Cheese mascot, he's the size of a regular mouse. Yeah. Oh, um, really? And here's the question: yeah, is the is. current is the current Chuck E. Cheese mascot a furry anymore, or is he just an anthropo- anthropomorphic? 
character and not a furry because he's definitely he's, a delineation he's riding there. the line he's getting more and more mousy but i think he's still on the but side like, of but like evil. The, the current the current character <laughs> is the size of a mouse he's like this tiny little mouse running around wearing well, a shirt not when he's in a fursuit he's not <laughs> i get uh, that's right. that's weird to me that's I, I, very, I found that is I found weird. The that an art. actual mouse or something. I found okay, the go furry on. art that is good, and I'm about to post it. This is by Glitched Puppet of the comic Floraverse. Th- th- mm. this oh, says, th- this is like the One Piece. This is like the One Piece. This Floraverse is that one that's nice. Floraverse is that one that's pretty cool, but it's got the like secret porn. Side. Yes, yes, it's got yes. the secret Dude, porn page. Uh, I, I remember way. I remember way back when when you discussed that. And yeah. then I was like, huh, how interesting. Floraverse is actually I, I, pretty I find, cool in a lot of ways. I, I I found out about it myself, and I was like, oh, this is the thing that Ben talked about. And I, and I had the same conclusion that you did. Yeah, it's like, it's well, cool, I mean, but it's also a little like, eh, it's a little skeevy. Every, I, I, this, lo- this looks great. I mean, this looks Wait, really this nice. Is the one that you I said wouldn't even that consider also, this furry art. This is the one that you said that they, the artist also does, like, porn, right? They have yes. two Patreons, one for the, like, the main comic and okay. one for, like, so the porn side stories. if this artist draws porn, I need to get on that immediately. <laughs> they I'll, do. I'll, yeah. like, is, I'll uh, link it to you right now, my friends. Now, I, I don't think this is the case, but is this, like, there is one, uh, it's not really furry, but there is a uh, a comic that features a unicorn that all of 4chan regards as extremely sexy. Like is she's a normal oh, oh, I, I know exactly the one you're thinking of. This is not that. This wait, wait, wait. Not, okay, okay, okay. I guess not. No, I don't know what you're talking about. It's it's the the I want to blank that blank. You go, <laughs> it's you know it's, uh, it's that hmm. old meme. Indeed. Well, uh, okay, dope, dope. I mean, we've done it, guys. I guess I guess furries no, are somewhat no. saved. What, what I the fuck? give them, we've redeemed I, I, them. You're, you're redeemed always trying furries. to end podcasts. You're, you're always welcome, trying furries. To clo- That's your main occupation is podcast enforcer. No, 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 Munch, you don't understand. I'm, tr- I'm going for the fake out ending. Okay. I want everyone to think that we've resolved so that you can blast their assholes wide open with the truth at the end of the. It's like the post uh, cre- credits uh, final sequence. Mm-hmm. So let's. What, what else you got for well, us? Well, okay. Let, let's get meta here real quick because. Word. This I, I'm I'm about to launch into a thing, and this was and this was made. Uh, I have not scripted this like I usually do with notes, but this is on mm-hmm. the top of my head. But uh, this was intended. This idea was intended to come after a long section of me talking about how I dislike you know the 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 niceness and stuff. But that came at the beginning. Yep, yep, yep. That's all fine. Uh, so just know that uh, the impassioned rant I'm about to go on is totally unearned within the context of the podcast. It only makes sense in my own mind. But just make sure that this just mm-hmm. know for a fact that this is all genuine and not fake, and this is all is true. The reason why I dislike the, all this fucking gross ass, gross melty hug box bullshit is because I was fucking there. Digi knows on fucking Tumblr, I was in the most d- perverse and disgusting parts of the brony <laughs> fandom, and I was surrounded by hug box, gross, fucking openly sexual people all the time, and it fucked me up and made me sad <laughs> all the time. Being around all these people who are so freely open about about their sexual impulses and about all, about all their, you know, Trying to be all touchy and feely mm-hmm, and all mm-hmm. gross all around me, it made me a disgusting person because I because I couldn't hold back on like on like my you know my urges and I turned into a weird fucking gross asshole. Oh for a while. no! And it was a completely <laughs> awful experience for everyone involved. And so I and so I grew up and I and I knew that I couldn't be like this anymore due to this group right fucking here at BronyCon. I was a fucking bitch, but then I hung out with all of you fucking people and I turned into mm-hmm. not a bitch. Simplified, but that's fine. That's fine for the Damn. context of this podcast. So the first time we met you were you were deep in the shit huh yeah i was deep in the shit damn, damn. and and and, d- and due to hang out with you guys and and you know other friends i slowly regained my humanity and renounced and renounced being a fucking carpet muncher fucking you know like form is, form browser you know is bitch. is this the is this the off discussed uh, like role play lifestyle that no, you mentioned the, the, my, my my role plays came my role plays were super innocent and just like oh, I was, okay like, okay a kid on the internet doing pokemon that, sure. I, okay. I, I it was go, like Homestuck. It, you were like Nepeta. Yeah. I I gotta uh, p- pounces. I gotta yeah. go on a, a <laughs> thing here because I'm looking at this ForbiddenFlora.com that Munchie mm-hmm. uh, linked, okay, which yeah. is the man the the, the, the furry porn. That. Um, <laughs> so annoying. And I think I've realized that the 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 only thing that makes me not a furry is that furry is defined by like these certain aesthetic and like characteristics, mm-hmm. you know, because. If it was anime porn, you could draw any, like, 
you could draw me a furry fuck and I will look at it and like it. Like, Monster Girls, man. Of course, Monster I, I Girls. I love, across love the board. Monster Girls or any, just any yep, type yep. of like animal human hybrid like the game Juan Koto Kuraso which is just about fucking like girls who are literally dogs but they're like but, like, <laughs> oh, yeah, but yeah, they yeah. look like human girls like mm-hmm. I mean and even like I look at tons of poke porn but like and I was looking at this forbidden flora and I'm like this would be my thing like I think this artist is really good I think they have yeah, they draw right. good porn the only problem is that there are little subtle things that make it extremely furry feeling, and those are the only things that turn me off about it. Like, otherwise it'd be perfectly fine, but I just look at it and I'm like, uh, oh, if they didn't look like fucking furries, this would be really hot. Well, see, you know? that's that's what I that's what I think about. That's why I'm so strident in my defense of, like, all these people, because, like, I have jacked off to every kind of porn there is, and I will do so again in the future. Yeah. Furry, scat, well, not really a like girl or anything. Well, not, not even that much scat. Scat kind of turns me off but it doesn't matter the point is like just i don't want to limit my freedoms (laughs) i mean i was watching i was watching uh, not resort bowen uh like arrow gay it's this whatever thing and then like all of a sudden there's just a shitting scene and i was like what the fuck is (laughs) happening right now uh it doesn't matter it happens all the time in porn especially like pissing is near constant (laughs) in anime pissing is like if you watch watch enough anime i tend to avoid that if you watch enough anime porn and you're not into pissing yeah it can be difficult because it's just gonna happen like definitely not we I know we've no, all seen Oni Chi Chi, and I know there's pissing at I least once not. in that scene. I don't even know what that is. Oh, yeah. well, you guys what are, are you fucking. About? I, I probably. I mean. guess. I guess I'm not as degenerate no, as you no, all Oni thought. No, Oni Chi Chi is like and the most God. popular hentai like ever, other than Bible Black. It's like the oh, one yeah, that everyone. Is it yep. about Chi Chi from Dragon Ball? No, yeah, it's, it's hit, just about some blonde girl getting fucked by like her stepdad, yeah, yeah. I think. But like, hit, hit up. They hit made up my like boys eighty episodes of it. Hit up my boys on hentai gasm to see that shit. That's that's the real <laughs> oh, shit. God. Yo, all right. But, but, and we earlier discussed about TMI. Hentai yeah. gasm's a good site. Uh, you like it? <laughs> I've like never it heard of it. Um, all right, but all I, all I want to say is I I am so absolutist in my viewing of like all this is fine. Like I don't want to shame anybody. Do exactly what you want to do. It's totally cool. But like I think keeping it's it way in the privacy radical, of your own fact. home. Like, I, I I do degenerate shit, and I talk about it here because it's funny, but, like, if I was just hanging out with my friends and I started talking about my weird fetishes, then, like, th- th- there's an audience. you got to consider your audience is, is all I'm saying. And, and you and, will and, creep and, people out if you start talking totally about this shit openly. And they are. Like, like, think about it from their perspective. Yeah. They are all furries. They all mm-hmm. do this. Why would they not discuss what they that what they Even if do? I was a huge furry, I like yes, there's there's like the emancipation element like we shouldn't be shamed for this. So like, yeah, we're going to talk about it. rah rah. But on the like it's Fight the path. I don't want to I don't want to hear about heterosexual sex that my buddies are having. I'm not interested. I mean, I think I got, that's I think that's kind of unique to you though, Nate, cuz I think it's fairly that, normal I, for like locker room talk to be like, yeah, I fucked that bitch last night and well, put it in her ass. I also that's don't want to hear about that. Thing. I also, and it's not yeah. the same Thing. I think it's – wait, what is different about that? What do you mean it's not well, the same I'll, I'll thing? T- I'll, well, I mean, if since you open the door, mm. it's different to hear about my buddy plowing his girlfriend night after night after night as opposed to, yeah, at a one-night stand with this girl who you'll never meet. Those are two different mm. situations. I, I guess. I mean – I also see it as like I just don't want to I mean, hear any. I mean, me and my friends, fair enough. Me, fair me enough. and my uh, my other, you know, my offline friends, we would talk about mm-hmm. porn all the time because we were all just huge porn fans. Like, yeah. so well, you know, I'm into porn. Even, I'm talking I mean, about even, it all, all day. Whether it's a girlfriend or a one night stand, yeah, I kind of don't want to think about my friends having sex ever. You know, that's like, that's where yeah. I'm coming from. That's where I'm coming from. Uh, but hey, man, if I'm the weird one, fair enough. I accept. Like, that. I don't think I'm you're gross for doing it, but I think that thinking about it is kind of gross. You know, That's the, you the know? class, man. Uh, yeah, I know that we d- we disagree on this topic, me and Digi and probably other people here, but that's that's what it comes down to for me. I think I, about you know. everybody having sex. Thanks. <laughs> well, <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> well, Great. Uh, okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, I I just wanted to say to mm. watch any you know potential uprising here, people mm-hmm. are probably gonna be like mm. munchy, like 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 I'm I'm like you, Nate, where I think you can do whatever you want sexually, and you you, and you can do mm-hmm. whatever you want, like basically, you know, I'm pretty into you know freedom and you know do whatever you want. It's your life. 
But, they're, they're, and like, I'm, you know, I'm an alt person. I'm living the alternative lifestyle. Mm-hmm. I am not, I am not, you know, following society's normal rules. Why should I impose society's rules? Like, why should I pick and choose the ones that I choose to follow? Like, you know, not protect the freedoms, open. protect the freedoms of people who disagree with you, people, because one day they're coming for your it, shit. It, it, exactly. So, yeah. I'm, none of this is meaning to intend, like, furries, stop it. I. Mm-hmm don't like furries. In fact, I wish that they didn't exist, but they do. And so I'm not going to make any attempt to make sure that mm-hmm. they stop being real. Right. And that's I'm the difference between my that's, opinion. And that's uh-huh. the difference uh-huh. between tolerance and like loving that I was talking yes. about earlier. Yes, correct. And now there's an elephant in the room for this whole conversation, Munchie, that mm-hmm. I've deliberately avoided mentioning uh, until uh, now. As have I. As how, have I. how big is the dick on that elephant? Because I am I'm getting horny thinking about all this. <laughs> <laughs> <animal sense. laughs> is it is it is it appropriate to bring it up now, Munchie, or are you do you want to uh, you know? Wait. Uh, I haven't asked the other party if they. I don't think they would fucking care. Yeah, whatever. Well, okay. Here's the deal, people. Munchie is dating. Dating a furry right yes. now. He is yes. dating a big old fursuit furry. Yeah. Uh, so that's the context of this it's, whole it's conversation. It's not even a moderate uh, itch. She, she oh, yeah. can, has you li- li- link, link in the description. Uh, <laughs> it's, it's, it's not even like a moderate furry. Like she's she's real. But see, but see, that's the thing, man. Tolerance, right? Like you, you well, you're not into I, it, right? I, I, like, I should also mention that that, of, that, that yeah, she yeah. is not. She she is she does not exhibit. The behaviors that I have described here, she does. Well, yeah, she there you does go. not role play or anything, proving uh, that there are good furries. Yes, you know, yes. basically. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. She, she she does not exhibit the the overwhelming you know heat, the the the, the heat <laughs> and unbelievable you know warmness of of un, unearned kinship. She does not exhibit that. Yes, yes. She, she's one of the good ones. Thumbs well, there up. There you go. Um, but yeah, Fascinating. Uh, furries are all great. They give charities. Uh, how, how many charities have you donated to, motherfucker? Well, furries do, are all about charities. Do you do you consider shit. furry Patreons a charity? If so, they are the most generous organization in the entire universe. Th- that is also that is also a good thing about furries. Is, is 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 that like like even though we can make fun of them for spending so much money on commissions, and we should yep. because mm-hmm. that's not smart. <laughs> uh, mm-hmm. They do like support artists mad hardcore. Well, I think the reason that furries support artists so much is because like because their fandom has no like canon material you can't just go buy the official release of <coughs> furry yeah, true. it's just yeah, it's all right, community right. driven material so if you want to like spend something you can't just go out buy the blu-ray of furry season one you got to support artists that's you know, all there is i bet i bet that is a ton to do with why they're so vocal and like fervorous in their little community because it's yeah. so like shunned by i mean that's probably true of everybody who's got a community oh, like that oh you know? i've i've definitely yeah. this is definitely true like the more that you voice opinions against furries the more more they will come away brazen in their attitude. I, I honestly That's, think yeah, I think that on I some level, on I don't know how deliberate this is, but I definitely think that it's understood by a lot of the furries that a lot of the outlandishness of it, I think, is deliberate to keep people away. Because, like, no one oh, fucks... Oh, club Yeah, no one fucks with furries, because everyone thinks they're disgusting and crazy. <laughs> like, cur- furries... Like, well, you got your, like, Mr. Medicers and those kind of guys who, like, deliberately try to, like, you know, go out and start shit with these people. Yeah. But, But, like, know. for the most part, I feel like furries... Like the sign on the door is like this is f- this is how fucked it's gonna be in here. So is that something you relate to? If so, yeah. come along. And like if you make it past that barrier, it's like you're already. I think that's why there's such a hug box is that like you've made it mm-hmm, past mm-hmm. this incredible barrier of like sacrificing your own conception of your social normalcy. To <laughs> fucking, yeah, like, you're not wrong. You're your not wrong. Soul. I mean, you're basically <laughs> saying basically like it. I am committing to never being a normie again. Like. Something similar happened. I mean, when, at least there, while there you are identify, like when, furries, furries. everyone. It's not a complete like, transformation. Th- there was th- that, that is that's true. Yeah, that's true. I mean, and, and you can you can stop being a furry one day if you so desire. I'm just and and po- possibly burn and bury all footage of you having been a furry. There's probably yep, plenty yep. of pictures out there because these are cons are all well though. documented. Uh, yeah, yeah, in social media, yeah. but like. I just think that there's there's an element of the fact that you even are willing to call yourself a furry is enough to give you some camaraderie that like you are willing to you know stand in this world that that where furries are literally the bottom rung of society they are everyone's <laughs> punching bag yeah. and yet like yeah. they, if they, they're willing to they call yourself jokes. that then it's like all right you've made it into the herd you know 
I think the, furry is. I, I would. I would give furries the the immaculate distinction of being the lowest lo level, like the lowest rung of society. That it doesn't quite make sense to like deliberately mock or shame like and like yeah. when you get to like other kin right below them at that point it's like well okay now it's open season like these people are insane <laughs> but uh y you know unless they're, i guess they're playing around whatever I oh by the way by the way i i just i name dropped mr medicare before he actually is more charitable towards furries and he's just harder on like other kin so i i just want to like i don't like hate the guy he's not like insane or anything just just right, saying right. just saying Pe people might be like why do we feel the need to come on this we are not furry experts we we, we we people like this are all the time where they're like oh you you don't know everything there is to know about <laughs> physics. Yeah. How dare you have a nihilism episode? What the fuck are you doing, you dumb bitches? <laughs> but but like are like like are we not allowed to comment on things as we see them? Because it's not it's not like we are forming them out, out like out of the ether purely from like going on fortune and hearing secondhand information. We've yeah. all seen furry. I mean, it's We've it's also not them. it's not as though at the end of a, a PCP episode, whatever conclusion we've come to about. About, like how we exactly. should all think about this we press a button and now like it is so you know like oh i've we've yeah, yeah, oh yeah. we've concluded furries are bad i press this button and now that's what the world is from this point forward it's like there's no right. consequence to this show well this whatsoever. is this, this, this is mean, a comedy show everybody Don't it's just that. a conversation <laughs> and like that's i guess yeah, that's the yeah. interesting part is like because for everybody who's like into the furry thing, being like they're missing so much the important nuance. Like there's also people who are outside. If, of it, like, if yeah, you feel that way, please look at what we're like. This is how even people who are close to furries think of them. So if we're wrong, yes. this is your PR, motherfucker. Like I, you got to do something about it. I think we've been pretty magnanimous here, for, relatively yeah. speaking. I think. I mean, I, I don't know. I, and, I mean, at and, the end of the day, the I don't way, have any ill will. Th th yeah. th this has happened before on other episodes where I am a fucking knowledgeable saint and I will just say what I say and people will be like, you missed this. You didn't factor this into your equation. But I did know that fact and it just wasn't important. Like, you can say a bunch of shit in, in the comments about how, like, fur furries are, like, all great and stuff, or even about how they're all bad, and I will have considered them, because I think about this literally constantly. I know <laughs> everything that you could possibly say, and this is my opinion. People, like, like the reason I feel the need to comment on this isn't just because I want to be a funny people with my friends. I, wanna be, I just want to be funny people. No, it's because I have to think about this. This yeah. isn't a joke anymore. This has reached <laughs> a stage where I can no longer deny that furries exist and go on with my day just treating them like ah oh, they're just fucking like elves or like trolls <laughs> no furries are real elves. and i have i have to i have to acknowledge them it's suffering i don't like this i want them to go back to being jokes i don't <laughs> like this you know I, I wonder if like you said at the beginning and i just remembered my thought i, I thought of the comparison to like the flat earth thing mm -hmm. where like that's definitely started as a joke and a troll but it just started gaining steam because I don't know. People just like were like, you know what? That's actually not a bad idea. Let's mm. let's get in on that. And I, I I'm, not, I'm not trying to shame furries and saying they're as crazy as flat earthers or anything, but uh, you know, just just saying. Funny comparison. Yeah. I am. So, a the conclusion I've come away with from this podcast yeah. is that I am a furry, um, <laughs> and that the only reason I haven't identified it is that I am too much of an elitist when it comes to the art. That I masturbate to, <laughs> like if if, oh, I, if if there were furry artists who just drew anime style, I would be all in on this community because I want to fuck a Pikachu just as badly as this first suitor does, <laughs> but she is doing a terrible job of making it look attractive. Sure, the, oh, one, okay. the, the linked I, linked in the dis uh, show notes uh, we already mentioned. I think this th 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 indeed, indeed. That's the thing. I think like all of us, like like if some like you know guys, if if God came down and is like, hey, I'm gonna make something that appeals to your taste. It's just gonna be like an anthropomorphic animal like it's is that cool so you would probably be like yeah sure it's like not the actual like an, like animal part of it like i don't think any of us like care well, the, that much the furries the furries specifically are into that right isn't that what makes them furry as opposed to well, like yes. i've jacked off to tons of furry porn but for me it's always just like that, that's a hot girl and oh she's a dog or whatever i, I mean that's fine yeah. i'll deal with that you no, know, that's what, what I'm trying to say is that like yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it's it's not like particularly the fact that it is an anthropomorphic creature. It's just the way that it's always depicted. It's it's the yeah, culture. okay, okay. It is the culture, mm -hmm. it's the society. Indeed, indeed. It's the context in which the images exist in. Mm -hmm. All right, are we going to move on to questions then? Yeah, yeah it's I, I think it's about I time. Should, I think it's about time. Um, I just want to quickly say, yeah, uh, yeah. If, if it wasn't clear enough by this point, because it probably isn't because I didn't speak much, but. Uh, in overall, I I like furries in general, 
and I like the art, save for work art mostly. I like the character designs a lot. Like what what really interests me about furries is, is like they take an animal and they like make a character design and like the really skilled artists whenever they like drew draw like a furry character, it's just like I don't know why. I just I just really like art. C- can my sexuality be art? Because I really like art. <laughs> <laughs> well, Mage, here's here's my question for you. You know, we uh, we haven't really addressed this, but and I, I think I've asked you personally before. I forget the answer offhand though. Would you consider yourself a furry? You like your anthropomorphic morphic you know animal boys and whatnot <laughs> i i don't know like the thing is like it depends on other people's definition of furry i myself sure, am not sure. involved in like any furry communities uh i don't mm-hmm. talk to that many furries i i have no plans in the future to have a fursuit or i'm not even interested in having <laughs> a fursuit yeah. I do have a fursona, but that's because I like character designs and I like making characters and it's just, yeah, see, it's for just me, really interesting for me. It's just it's, like for, for uh, people trying to say stuff like just because you like like MLP or something that like makes you a brony or something or just like – I mean I, I just hate all the stuff of like because you like thing or are generally interested, you like now are considered a member of the community. anyone putting a label on you that you don't put on yourself is disgusting. I couldn't agree more. I could not agree more. It's, yeah, it's, it's like saying everyone who likes Zootopia is a furry. So, you know, if, if you yeah. don't, if, if all those other kin who refuse to believe that they're human, uh, guess what? We have no right to call them human. We've lost our, our it's it's over, we're done, self right. we fucked it up. Yep. <laughs> we've, all, we've, all, we've all learned something today. All right, well, I guess that's it. Let's, let's head over to our questions. Now. We're all furries, we admit it. That was the we, point, we that's what we were now. building to. <laughs> we all admit it. We're active members of the community. All right, everybody. Wait, 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 wait. Hold, on, one, hold on. Wait, wait. What? There's something what? huge. Okay. W- what animal would you be, Nate? Like, what would your fursona be? What animal would you uh, be? Uh, well, I mean, okay, sure, sure. Uh, everybody okay. always tells me a pig. Sure, that was that was the old <laughs> animal design she did for us and being Ben and I were orcs. Um, You'd be a dog. I, I mean, everyone says I'm like a dog. M- yeah. My my girlfriend says I'm like a dog. I think I bear a lot of resemblance to a dog. I, it works for me, man. I think I'm a dog. <laughs> I, think I, I bear a lot of resemblance to a dog, like currently. Yeah, like, physically, I resemble physically. a dog. Uh, apparently, I look like a German shepherd. I know I how much Michelle shepherd. like dogs, so that must be – that's pretty good. That's pretty good. That's just, it's good for the old romance. Uh, Michelle's a furry for sure, <laughs> See, but just for dogs. Oh, it even go, goes with the best <laughs> guy ever true. because, you know, what's the best compliment the best to a dog? The best boy. Uh, good boy. <laughs> yeah. He's a good boy. Boy, yeah, works for me. I think I could be a dog. I think you could make a strong argument for a dog. I think I could also be a raccoon. I think you're a mole or an owl. Raccoon. I would a oh, mole. definitely a ben trash as a raccoon eater. is fucking perfect. I, like I was it. gonna yeah. go with sloth. I was gonna go with sloth. But a <laughs> yeah, that's well, especially because a raccoon's, good raccoon's got like kind of an edgy like uh, yeah, design yeah. and everything. No, you're you know? all you're missing the most shoulder. obvious point. Raccoons what? dig through everyone's trash. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. it's perfect. Fucking it's fools. perfect. Uh, Ben's a coon for sure. <laughs> it's it's got it. I, I mean, you know, raccoons are actually nasty. Like they're actually yeah, hideous. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, exactly. <laughs> deeply unpleasant creatures. I, so, I know. Uh, You're saying all the right things. All right. <laughs> there, have you seen their hands? Have you seen a raccoon's hands? I oh like yes, them, grimy. They are, like they are. They are. They have nasty little like gremlin skeleton hands. You, you just just take a raccoon and have a vape pen in one hand and a you know a tablet pen in the other, and you got yourself a Ben Saint right there. <laughs> All right. Uh, I, I, I uh, would be a Hopkinsville else? goblin. That's what my. Would be. <laughs> what the here. hell is that? L- here, that's uh, no, some other kin uh, shit. That is some other kin shit. It's it, 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 it's He's this right. way right here. I, I, I if I oh god, it, why why are Google Image like links so unbelievably big? They're, why they're is that odd. the case? I don't you just know. gotta go to the actual up. like image. Oh, <laughs> this guy. Yeah. But that's. Technically not an animal. It's like no, a- it's an animal. It's no, an that's alien. What, this, An- is this is other kin. This is other kin, Munchie. That's a, no. it's a cryptid. Like a cryptid or whatever. Like big, is Bigfoot right? is real. So the Hopkinsville. This is just like the time I told the furries that I was a that I was a mind flayer. I, I didn't know that like, fucking Dungeons and Dragons invented that. Well, way to kink shame, Ben. I, 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 I would get- definitely be like a normal type Pokemon. I would be like some sort of like bear or like. Okay. Something like, big and set? fat and like, doesn't beware. give a shit. Or, or, or like you know you know you know that big like fairy normal type bear that was yeah, a be, tank in like Sun and Moon. Beware. Be, beware. Beware. Yeah. beware. Beware is pretty good. And he's that pink is a too, very so munchy. It, the way that that Pokemon is portrayed in the TV show is like a munchy esque yeah. character. Mm-hmm. That's true. A power because all he does is show up oh, and beat up people and carry them around basically. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, Digi, what would you be? Did oh, you say? I would be a walrus probably. A walrus. I like to be depicted as a walrus. Yeah, okay. <laughs> well, I already uh, have a persona. 
but I the, the just before mm-hmm. I made her like she's a jerboa that's like a like a little right right mouse thingy. That's what Raichu like, is, right? I wait, is he? So, I don't know. Oh, yeah, I yeah, think Raichu's little, one of those. Little based legs. on it, it's so mm-hmm. no. I love it. Don't it's jerboas? Like tiny... Nah, well, whatever. Little, you know, Mew is actually more jerboa esque than a cat esque. Oh yeah, that's true. Mm-hmm. With his weird old legs. Yeah, okay. Yeah, and even even the tail. Anywho, like yeah, so yeah, some yeah, character yeah. is uh, jerboa. Uh, hopping mouse, whatever. It's, it's cute little hoppy legs. I love it. But uh, before I made her, I was heavily debating between <laughs> like a unicorn or a deer or a bunny because I like <laughs> the soft and cute ones. And, <laughs> and but like none of them like had all the things I needed because I wanted a long tail, and but I also <laughs> wanted it to like be sort of fluffy. And cute mm-hmm. and long ears, yeah, long ears <laughs> and long tail, and like I couldn't, I couldn't have that with any of those properly. So yeah, then I found Jerboa, and then all my prayers were answered. <laughs> well, if there was ever evidence of God, there it is, everybody. <laughs> uh, and, Tom, and, Tom, and Tom and Tom. Yeah, Tom I think I'm, I'm thinking gorilla. I'm thinking a gorilla, a, gorilla. a powerful oh, beast. Oh no! Yeah. Oh, 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 I think oh, you're on the right track. track. I think like a like what's a, what's the long monkey there's like a long monkey there's a long monkey what's the long a, a, a like gibbon an orangutan an <laughs> orangutan an orangutan a long orangutan a pretty <laughs> <laughs> it's an orangutan you know i could see tom as like a lemur <laughs> Okay. Yeah. I don't think he's, I don't think orangutan hits. The well, mark. okay. Well, what, what does Tom think though? Tom um, I I've literally never thought of this before. So you're all inf- inf- okay. informing me I think very of Tom deeply of, right as now. As like a dust skull. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not. <laughs> I I'm not be a dust skull. I'm not opposed to lemur. Lemur would be kind of cool. Uh, You'd be I was praying just, mantis. All I was gonna say oh. was my favorite. My not bad, favorite actually. animals are crows. I find crows fascinating. Mm. I, I could see a crow. Tom. Ravens and crows are cool as shit. I, I, I could say <laughs> you'd be a raven because that's like the fucking raven that's so like fucking gay. <laughs> yeah. Ravens yeah. yeah. are yeah. like the bigger versions of crows, right? I yeah. think crows are bigger. Oh my god, guys! This I literally looks like Tom. Oh, this no. is what Tom. is it? That I mean, I see a resemblance. <laughs> I, I opened I up Discord and saw the Hor- Hopkinsville Goblins. Got it. <laughs> All right, let's get on the fucking questions. All right, okay. Yeah, draw yeah, draw, draw us as our first sonas, everyone. Yes, oh, please. God. We're demanded. All right, yo, uh, Twitter at TP Follow question. us for an announcements and stuff. And yo, here's here's a question. Hashtag AskBCP. Send questions using the hashtag. Okay, here we go. Now, here's one that I was reading, and I, I, I like this one. Okay, here we go. It's at Chaotic Sloth, an old patron of mine. What's up, buddy? Says, uh, in your own opinion, do you have to like a person to be able to like their content? And for no. some reason, he adds, animations don't count. I don't know why he would put this. Um, 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 I, throw why? that in the trash. Throw that in the trash. I don't why know don't what animations do that. Just, <laughs> what? Yeah, what is different? Know. What at I, I know, all is different? <laughs> Okay, Mage, what do you think? What do you think, Mage? Well, uh, I think the reason the reason he mentioned is because of the recent oh. controversy uh, in the anime community with... Um, Princess Molestia getting her own anime at yeah. long last. Yeah, <laughs> no, 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 no. It's like the guy who made uh, uh, that really cute anime. Oh, Roroni Kenshin or whatever, right? Didn't oh, he? Well, no, that's yeah, the the, other... Like, it was just a sugar I'm cube. Like, Let <laughs> Mage speak! <laughs> Say it! God damn! All right, sorry. A, sorry. a more recent one, like... Oh, yeah, mm. MMO Junkie, that anime. Right. Oh, what, what did he do? What did he do? Uh, one of the directors, like, mm-hmm. I, I think he's, like, confirmed to be an actual Nazi, and he's denying oh, the what? Holocaust and it's whatever. not an actual Nazi. Well, a okay. neo well, he's denying the Holocaust. There's no such thing as an okay. actual okay. Nazi, for what it's worth. Well, yeah, I mean, I get in... in yeah. Well, he's denying the Holocaust. Oh, who you know, you hasn't denied the Holocaust? You, you know what's interesting about that? Wait, Basically, what, Japan what? has been... That is so weird of a thing to even know about an anime director. Like, how many anime directors big do you know any it. element he... of their personality Wait, whatsoever? Speak, it's because there was a... Like, I, because the controversy was so big, it reached yeah, there was me, a, and I hate that. There was like, a huge even, yeah, Twitter yeah. snafu. He publicly mm-hmm. just kept... Even doing it on Twitter. What the fuck? Even <laughs> even if okay, even if this is a thing that happened, I still don't see why it merits I, I, an exception for and animation. Ben, and and Ben means the Holocaust. I, uh, I mean, yeah, Holocaust. <laughs> I'm not surprised yeah. about this. Uh, is it, so wait, is it the the anime director? And not like I'm, not, like, not, I'm not surprised that an old Japanese man would deny the Holocaust at all. I'd be surprised if most of them even know what it is. Yeah, he's not or, that fucking old. It can't yeah, be. That I old. mean. Well, okay. The Japanese well, and the Germans were allies. So that's like saying your best friend from back in the day yeah. like, killed a bunch of Jews. Yo, I, I, of I'm looking this up. It. I mean, how do they know? Nobody fucking well, knows anything. I, 
I, oh, well, I don't know. You know what's funny about this though? Uh, it's like it's interesting to note. Then, uh, by the way, this is the it is the director uh, is uh, Kazuyoshi Yaginuma. Yaginuma. Never. Heard um, of yeah. I don't know. Uh, but like, it's interesting to note that like at long last, it seems like like anime maker people, like the people who nobody has given a shit about in the West, has like finally people. And like Japan's a pretty like right wing like conservative especially with like immigration and stuff and like race issues um at long last people are like starting to care about what they think and like they're finally yeah, facing I some backlash just could never like i mean i i think i had a moment actually mm -hmm. a while back where i was like you know i'm really excited about the fact that all these animators and everything are on twitter mm -hmm. and we have more open communication but this cannot take long before this leads to something yeah. like this and i just didn't expect someone to come out as a fucking holocaust denier Dude, well li listen to this listen to this okay quote from kazu yoshi here does it not is surprise quote, me one bit september 8th 2012 have you looked into whether anne frank's diary is real <laughs> <laughs> oh no! I mean, oh, no. I, 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 I haven't. Oh. I haven't. I, I love you, Jesus <laughs> Christ. This guy's a big neutral milk hotel fan for sure. Um, <laughs> well, that's uh, that's something. Jesus that's a something. Christ! I love you, yes, I love you. Well, this <laughs> that's it's. Uh, uh, I'm vaguely in the airplane over the sea, my you dude. You guys didn't know about this. I, 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 I had heard of this, but I haven't looked into it very much. And I just want to say that, like, just because you deny the Holocaust does not actually make you a Nazi. I'm, I'm just, I'm just putting that out there. You could be an anti-Semite. Well, you could hate I'm the just Jews. I'm saying what I saw people claim. I, I, I know, so I know. I'm not, I'm not putting that on you. So, uh, but also, also, like, I, like, it, Japan. If you if you recall, everybody, Japan had a pretty cozy relationship with the Nazis back yeah, in the day. I so they've been across the board, probably, pretty forgiving. I feel yeah. like Holocaust denial is probably pretty rampant. Over probably, there. Like, yeah. it's probably, so, like, ramp it's probably rampant across a lot of the world. Outside I bet of it America is. Look, look at the shit that they that they did themselves. You know, fucking Nan King. The Nan King. They incident, did Nan King, they man. Yeah, Nan King was like a the, nightmare. The Nan King incident, as they called it. it. it, 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 it Oh fuck! I forgot what I was gonna goddamn say. So I kept talking about the fucking Nan King shit. <laughs> well, uh, I mean, regards. I think once this Pandora's box open and we start to actually judge like Japanese creators by oh, their opinions, hey, I think that's, hey, that is hey, that is Pandora's I have, box. I have oh, a yeah. question. Yeah, I was gonna say to answer the actual fucking question. Yes, okay, I yeah, think okay, you can okay. enjoy uh, art regardless of the creator, but it really depends on. The piece, because sometimes you feel like the cre mm. like sometimes I I look at so like Rurouni Kenshin. Um, yeah, I don't think the original manga is even all that good, but like the offshoots mm -hmm. of it, clearly there's no influence of this guy's being yeah, a fucking yeah. pedophile on on Rurouni Kenshin. Other than maybe there's like a couple of cute younger characters. There's not even really any lollies in. There's a couple, yeah, but like, like minor ass characters. They are cute though, but like. The 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 series you don't like have to think about that when watching Rony Kench. It's not gonna strike you. You're not gonna like watch a scene and be like, oh, this totally reminds me of the fact that he was a pedophile. But there's other yeah, stuff yeah. like some music, for instance, where like the musician is so baked into the song mm -hmm. that like <laughs> if you don't like them as a person, it's like unavoidable when you're listening to the music, like, that you're being hit with sure, their personality, sure. basically. And, like, you it's going to remind you of the things you don't like about them. Mm -hmm, yeah, mm -hmm. you also keep, you have to keep in mind that a lot of mediums are made by more than just one person. For instance, right. that anime that I said, he's just a director. Yeah. There's, like, a whole slew of people working on that anime. And so, like, just because he's, let's say, a right. scumbag doesn't like, mean, I don't, no, you yeah. have to shame the anime. For it. Th that is a, that is a fair point. Anime. That is a fair point. I, I haven't seen it, but like it's you, good. you should consider. I, I, I believe you. I, a lot of people have said that it's quite good. Uh, and like the, the main character reminds me of you. I mean, the, the, <laughs> the, 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 little the director that I know didn't make the source material of it anyway. It's like it's not his story. So yeah, you know, how much? So I mean, you, it's it's fair to criticize like the man himself if you strongly disagree but with him, you, and you can you, you can supporting... choose to not want to. Well, that's that's the thing. If but, you but, but are you supporting him so much? If you I, are honestly, you supporting him by supporting his work, and if so, does that support yeah. his belief structure? I don't think. He, I, don't I, I honestly I don't, don't think it would even be possible to support that guy by buying the work. Because for what it's worth, I mean, mm -hmm. first of all, it's not how anime works. The director doesn't like if you buy a Blu-ray, yeah. it doesn't just put money in the director's pocket. And second of all, that dude's probably going to get fired and blacklisted at this point. Because but who oh, man, who knows how Japan works? So with Japan this stuff, Japan you know? is just very anti-PR at like 
anything. Like, if the fact that okay. he has buzz okay. around him is the problem. It's not what he said. It's that, like, yeah. you know, you can't be a controversial figure. Yeah, okay. I, I, I okay. think the question, I think the answer to this is obviously, yes, you can enjoy work. Yeah, else, yeah. But it doesn't mean that you always will be able to or even want yeah. to. Right. Like, I like, mean, like, if, like, if the politics, like, leak into the work, then you're not, and you don't like them. It's going to be hard to ignore. Uh, but at that point, you yeah. hate you hate the like, product, not the person. Like, 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 who could, who did I just to use you for example? Did you like, 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 like? Sure, your anime, you know, essays could be like, you know, those stand alone, but they do mm-hmm. like mm-hmm. require people to know about you and at, you know lead to you, the person. Um, I and mean, those are integral I mean, to it, it really depends. Sure. I mean, I've always kept the main channel relatively clean, um, in in certain mm-hmm. ways, like. You know, I uh, I don't run around saying nigga constantly on that channel because, like, yeah, I yeah. think the way I see it, I want people who wouldn't be okay with that to be able to enjoy my videos so that I can cast a wider net so that I can make more money. Mm-hmm. Like, mm-hmm. you know, when, it, when you come to the side channels, I don't give a fuck because, like, ultimately I would rather just do whatever I want than, like, be an acceptable artist on any level. But in order to sure, maintain sure. making money from most people, like, from, from from a larger amount of people who I am deliberately duping, like, I'm deliberately not showing them the entire picture of myself, as most well, people yeah, don't. Yeah. Like, most people don't show you everything about themselves. Uh, yeah. Even if yeah. it's something that, like, is public about them in another way, you know, and... On the internet, all those things kind of bleed together if they're all under the same name, you know. I mean, and you but... can, you can call that duping, but really, we, we no matter what situation we're in, there are things that we choose to offer and choose yeah. to not offer right. in a given situation. So, would you, you know, not call that duping? Well, well I mean, it, it, it's, just, it's, it's, it's not, more it's just, just like withholding well, information that you don't no, need. I, like people who watch the Otaku Gonzo Journalist channel don't need to know that I'm a guy, a white boy who says nigga all the time. You know, like no, sure. no, that no, is no, irrelevant Gigi. to those videos, and I'd prefer I, they just not think about I, it. You know, I, I, I'm not saying that it is duping. I don't <clears> think that it is, but I would think that Nate would think it is. I'm surprised <laughs> that he doesn't. Well, no, I mean, it's just, you can, you, I mean, te- technically you could call that duping, but I, I, it's just, if you call that duping, you have to define basically every human interaction as well, which also Which is what I thought you did. Degree. Didn't we well, talk about how you consider every human action deceit? Oh, I mean, yes, and this is exactly that issue. You're, you're right to notice that. I think what he's saying is that, like, the word that. duping would lose meaning if we applied it to all, yes, like, if we acknowledged yes. it why that. Then why is holding open the door for someone deceit? Well, well, because like, it is, like it is deceit. It is it, it, we're, we're talking about degrees here. We're talking about okay. degrees. You know, that, is that's this the part issue. of the episode where we have to splice in all of the weird utilitarian yep. episodes? Please, <laughs> please splice it in, everybody. Um, God damn it. Uh, well, okay. I think we've basically covered this question. So, uh, Chaotic Sloth, thanks for the good one. That was a juicy right. one. That was a right. hashtag this, not bad question from Twitter, hashtag. I'd say. Uh, Way th- to go, th- this is from the Patreon Lounge. Donate any mm-hmm. amount to get into the Patreon Lounge, and you can Patreon. answer us com slash questions. The Procrastinators. Mm-hmm. Yes. This is by Julian. My Julian. How do we get closer to PCPHQ? What does the roadmap look like to that? Uh, oh, well, the roadmap okay. is wait throw for Gigi to move, us. and then it yeah, throw money and just wait. Yeah, I mean, like some happen. of us are just already mm-hmm. like I'm moving very soon because I have to move at the end of May. Like, there's no mm-hmm. question about that, and my plan is move to Boston because I mean at this point I like it's too late to even change plans. So so uh, like fair enough. we're going to Boston. Make the best of it. Yeah, and <laughs> I, I I mean Tom's already there. Munchie's already planning to go there. You know, it wouldn't be hard for mm-hmm. if if Nate decides he's you know ready to finally leave his job, then that's probably where he's going. So like. It's just mm-hmm. kind of a matter of time, but if you want to grease the wheels and make sure that it actually happens and nothing fucks up, keep throwing money at us, because we need the money to make it happen. I mean, PCPHQ is entirely a financial issue. Yeah, that's, that's correct. Yes. That's correct. Yeah. Yes. I mean, uh, yeah, everybody, I don't expect anybody to go way out of their way, and, like, I, I don't, I generally dislike the idea of, like, giving money for, like, future projects that aren't specifically being promised. Like, I certainly wouldn't I give mean, that. I mean, you gotta but, think like, of yourselves as a production mm-hmm. committee, and are you willing to take a risk on a, a product you want to see exist? Like, if you spend sure. that money now, you are making an investment towards the idea that a type of content you think you want at the very least, might come to fruition. Will you be horribly disappointed? It's possible, but like... Uh, yeah, you know. sure. 
I mean, th that's a perfectly fine way to think about it. And, like, again, everyone's making a personal decision whether they give to a patron or not, and for what reasons. And we have specifically stated that, like, one of our intentions is to make BCB HQ happen. If we had more money, we could start making steps in that direction. I'll tell you right now, for me, the thing that is holding me back from currently going charging all speed ahead is purely like the the need to or like leaving my job is the thing i need to do and being financially stable so when i can earn enough money to make sure that's safe and frankly i'm probably going to depend on that like whatever whatever that income is like the portion i get from the pcp and the portion i get on my own like that needs to be at a certain level where i think like okay i can i can do this and uh you know it, it's, it's become a reality that like i'm pretty pretty it's not that I'm comfortable at my job, but, like, it's got me in a situation where I'm making enough money that I can keep building up my savings for a while. So, to me, I think the, the logical thing to do is either my just income on YouTube stuff just goes way up and looks like it's going to stay that way for a while, or I, like, work for a while longer, save up more money so that I can uh, take that risk and, you know, jump out there. And I'd like to do it as soon as possible. That's all I'm do, saying. Do you have any time frame just for our... I was really hoping it would be in 2018. Looking at the math, I don't know if that's actually exactly right. So I guess I'd say my hope is like early 2019. That That's my current thought. But uh, okay. you know, I'll have to play it by ear. I'll have to play it by ear. Um, all the other that's questions me. in the patron lounge are like terrible. How about well, this question from Bobby Meow Thirteen? Here's the question: Freemium games pay to win mechanics? Question mark. <laughs> um, yes. Uh, Why yes? <laughs> my favorite. Exactly. Yes. yes. <laughs> uh, Thank you. We already said, wait. "What's your persona?" <sighs> wait. Okay. Here's one. Here's one. Cygris asks: Do you think Kanye West is a furry because he always I portrays as a bear in his old album? It was embarrassed by it and didn't read it out loud. <laughs> but there you go. Uh, I just wanted to say Kanye because he's he's a good yeah. boy. I'm looking forward to the new album. Oh, Hurry up, boy. boy. This is. I'm looking at the list um, of questions. Yeah, and... I know it's really upsetting. Uh, uh, Giffy thoughts on pacifism. <laughs> Moving on. Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Uh, uh, we got a question from Hippocrit. Where's Carcat? Um, he's right here. Carcat, why don't you say something? We uh, there's no reason we see can't you just all at have three questions four. and end the show, right? Like we can just do that. You know, he's right. We make we can right. do whatever we want. Fuck you guys. Um, Ask boss. better questions if you want to be read right on the goddamn show. Yeah. Uh, that's per perfectly good. Perfectly good. Uh, why why yeah. is it every episode the proof becomes more and more evident that you can have wit and you can have, or you can have money, but you can't have both? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, fair enough. All right. I think they uh, just try it. to rush to done. be like to like ask as fast as possible without like. When, when the I reality mean, is, they've got an they have, have an hour question. and a half. <laughs> yeah. 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 Brew uh, on I guess, it for a while, guys. I mean, maybe think. they think we ask right before we start the section or something. Yeah, l we should clarify that. For, everybody, just so you know, if you're asking a question either on Twitter or on the Discord, uh, you have at least an hour from when the, the, the message goes out to form that. Because we do the whole episode before we look back In fact, you're actually probably – you're better yeah. off waiting because if, if you t respond to our tweet right when we post it – we're yeah. not going to dig back and see it because we're only going to ask right. one question. It's better That's to true. wait like an hour and a half at least before you respond no, to that. at least an hour. Not an well, hour. I mean, usually we yeah. take most of our stuff from the Discord, but like they do usually like the first 10 minutes after we post a question, a bunch of shitty questions get posted yeah. that everybody shuts up. And it's like, <laughs> well, that wasn't helpful. L let me ask you th about this, guys. The Q&A is like almost always terrible. Like, no, like, no, I, I, I love this I totally disagree. Yeah. I, I, well, I was gonna ask, like, yeah, like, what, like, what, like, what's the point of it? It's it's funny it's, and I entertaining. Is the point for me? Yeah. 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 I think we I usually, I think like we usually choose good question quality. I think we always also, choose good yeah. questions. They're just rarely our ones to find. Like, the, okay, the ones when we there choose are, are good questions, good. it is nice. But I feel, but I feel like every episode is just like, hey, look at how bad these questions are. I mean, we I, always that's say that while we're like looking that. for good ones. This is why we need to do questioner rules. We've talked about this a few times here and there, and he is right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Time to make it. Why are we talking shop on the middle of the show? Yeah. Just end question. the goddamn podcast. We're, we're real Everybody. raw shit, dude. All right. All right. Bye. All right. At TP Crastinators, that's the Twitter. Check it out for announcements and all kinds of stuff. Uh, Patreon.com slash The Procrastinators. One dollar gets you into the lounge where you can get your questions in and we'll fucking see them more likely. And five dollars gets you all the bonus episodes. There's like 12 now. There's a huge library being built. Uh, and they're all pretty, pretty fucking great. And you're so you're going to want to get in on that. Right fucking now. To clarify, that's there's right. 12 and you get them all. I don't know if everybody understands this, but when you have a patron reward, you 
you get so. all yeah. of it. So yeah, like, you get all of so like when you patron Digi Bro, you get like hundreds of hours of commentaries of me and Devu watching back all of my videos. Right, that's that's, that's enough personal show. shilling, you <laughs> yeah, fucking delete. bitch. De- I'm uh, definitely editing that out. <laughs> oh, excellent. <laughs> uh, but that's it, everybody. Uh, thanks for joining. We will see you next week. And stay tuned. Everybody give us money for the new bonus episode. <laughs> we'll tell you about it next time. All right. Thanks for being around. And we'll see you next time. Bye. 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 I am a furry. I love Anthrocon. <laughs> See you at Anthrocon. That's yeah. <laughs> See you at Anthrocon. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Uh. I'm supposed to be working right now. I'm supposed to. Be